Chat 07. If you haven't heard unusual memes, one of the most valuable channels to my YouTube channel has been removed from YouTube. Gone forever. Rip unusual memes. Don't say rip bozo. <laughs> they don't deserve a rip bozo on their way out. Uh, unusual means is dead. I don't know why. I'm assuming they probably have too many strikes. They probably have too many strikes, so big man took them out. Boo -doo -doo -doo. TikTok time dead, or at least the original form of it. Dude, I was really close to getting my YouTube channel taken down. Ludwig VODs? Because my VOD channel is just whatever I do here. And so sometimes I react to something, and then whoever made the original thing copy strikes me. Which is fine, that's in their right. But if you get copy striked three times on a channel, you get banned on all your other channels. Because it's like ban evasion. So one time I watched... Uh... What's his name? What's his name? Freaking... Someone knows in chat. CGP Grey. I watched a CGP Grey video and he striked me twice. Because I had watched two over the course of like a year. And then he like saw it and then striked them both on the same day. And I was like, I was like, oh. <laughs> well, let's hold the phone there. <laughs> Hey, chat, are you supposed to reach out first? I think, like, they tell you to, but you don't have to. Chat, who saw this? Anyone see this video with Connor? Japan $1,000 crane game challenge. Okay. First of all, this uninspired YouTuber. Look at this. $1,000 crane game challenge. I tried Japan's $1,000. and Okay, well, that's different, actually. Japan $1,000 crane game. Japan $1,000 crane game. Japan $1,000 crane. He doesn't even change up the title. He has the same title on every single one of them. Look at this. They're clones. And they're all getting millions of views. Anyway, if you didn't see this one. It was me and Connor against each other in a crane game challenge in Japan. I am back once again in my favorite crane game spot in Japan to challenge the man himself, Ludwig. <laughs> How's it going, Connor? It's going good. Are you excited to lose to me today? I'm in your country to beat your ass because I think we're 1-1 one, one all time. We are 1-1. One, one. It's the rubber match. I have a strategy this time. What is the strategy? I'm not going to tell you. Okay. You idiot. All right. 2013 editing. It's a maximalist style. But here's the thing, you know. It, everything's trends, right? So if, you know, if, if ma maximal setting will come back, it'll come back. Purple Cliff, how you doing, baby? This place looks like heaven. Uh, honestly, it was pretty fucking dope. <laughs> there was also like a fire sushi place. Oh, you guys don't know about this. I thought about making a mogul mail about this because I feel like nobody outside of Japan knows about this story. But it's crazy. It's crazy. So, okay. Y y have you guys ever heard of conveyor belt sushi? Do you guys know what that is? It's like a pretty self-explanatory thing. But it's basically sushi that comes to you on a conveyor belt. You order the sushi, and whatever you order will go directly to you via conveyor belt. 
There's also like random food items that go by that you can pick up, but I wouldn't recommend getting those because you know who who knows how long they've been there, and they charge you per plate. And it's honestly like it's pretty fire. Like I went to one in America, and it was like uh, because there's there's still quite a few of them here. And like they're all right, like the like I think they're kind of like a fun novelty thing. But in Japan, the the sushi was like on par with good sushi in America, uh, cause cause although Japan's top sushi is not that much better than America's top sushi, their like C tier sushi is like way better than American C tier sushi. Like American C tier sushi has a non-zero chance of making you shit yourself. Jet lag. We might watch jet lag a bit later. We'll probably watch jet lag a bit later. Not right now though. We're not gonna watch at this very moment, but probably a bit later. So anyway, uh, there's this there's this uh, um, Japanese sushi conveyor belt place called Sushido, like Sushi Row. All right, it's very big. I don't know how big it is. It's a pretty, but it's a pretty big spot. Sushido, I think it's 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 like the largest sushi chain by volumes of sale. Um, pretty big deal, pretty big deal. And they have a bunch of conveyor belt sushi places. Uh, but literally like one month ago, this happens. This random ass high schooler <laughs> goes to Sushi Row. Sucks on his fingers. Starts licking random ass bowls and putting them back. And then just starts licking random rolls. <laughs> After this happened, people in Japan freaked out. You can imagine kind of like the Tucker Carlson of Japan for a moment. Uh, people going to conveyor belt sushi are licking the rolls. These parents are raising their kids with their woke mentality. And these liberal children are spreading their germs. <laughs> but like in Japanese, Eto, these kids are licking the rolls. Anyway, this happens. This clip goes viral. The company loses... I have to check exactly how much. They lose four... Excuse me, 5.7... No, 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 no. That's too high. That's too high. I think they lost like about... A billion dollars, because I think they're a publicly traded company, of market cap in like a day. Or maybe it was a hundred million. But they lost a shit ton of money from this. They lost 3.5 billion, is that right? No way. No, it was like, a, it was like 1 billion, right? Or a hundred million? There's no, I, I think it was like a hundred million. But they, they, lo they lose, instantly lose a hundred million dollars. Stock price of parent company Sushiro loses over 960 million in market value after student licks soy sauce bottle at Branch in Japan. That's crazy. Oh, 171 million. That was 960 million Hong Kong dollars. God damn. That's American dollars. 100 million American dollars. I guess 10 billion Japanese yen. And so then they paid every single person who's in Japan and outside of Japan to start eating sushi roll and be like, wow, it's actually like really delicious. <laughs> and it comes to you like really fast and tastes like really good. <laughs> but it was all because they were about to go out of business because a singular viral video. The thing is, in America, you kind of expect it to happen. You know what I mean? You don't lose $100 million if that happens in American conveyor belt. You're like, yep, should have expected that shit. I figured it came with a bit of spit. Could they sue? Oh, no, don't, trust me. That kid's life is fucking ruined. <laughs> that kid's life is fucking ruined. Zero percent chance that kid leaves with a, with a solid future. Anyway, how's it going, boys? Hello, hello. Welcome back to the stream. Yo, what up? How's everybody doing? What are you guys going on? Hey, what's going on in your lives? How are your lives today? What happened with the ice cream girl, lick girl? I don't know what you're talking about. What is your sushi order? Salmon. 
Toro. Call it a day. Maybe a little bit of Yellowtail for the fans. Went bouldering. Dude, bouldering's a cult. I'm anti-bouldering. I feel like somebody who's who's left the Mormon church and I'm trying to tell people that they're in a cult. And everybody's like, no, it's actually super fun to do. I love bouldering. It's like a really fun exercise and it's the first time I've enjoyed like working out. And I'm just sitting here waiting for you to hurt your goddamn elbow, your rotator cuff. Something's gonna happen. We'll probably watch Jet Like a little bit later today. The girl who licked the ice cream at the supermarket was trending for a really long time. Why do I admit, how did I miss this? Wait, what is this? Girl licks ice cream supermarket. Do I not know about, should I know about this? So nasty. A young woman is seen on video licking a container of ice cream. <laughs> oh my God, what a hearty lick. A young woman is seen on video licking a oh that is foul behavior container of ice cream and putting it back in the store freezer. Lick it. Oh, you foul! Put it back! Put it back! Put it back! The video of the woman being dared to lick the ice cream oh. has been viewed more than ten million times. Ten mil. What kind of psychopathic behavior is this? Wrote one person. Dude, news is just commentary. YouTube commentary. YouTube's just news. They're pulling up random ass comments. They just pulled up a random ass comment and read it out loud. Like, what is that? Eat shit and die, said one guy from Scottsdale, Arizona. That's it. They're just they're just making it up. I'm disgusted. This is literally just me reading chat, taking the first joke I see and pretending it's my own. This should be a criminal charge, posted another. Oh. The ice cream in question is... They're not even crediting who said it. They're just saying it. Bluebell. In a statement, the company said, this type of incident will not be tolerated. <laughs> you're going to tolerate it, Bluebell. I mean, like, I know it's gross and I know you're upset about it, but you're like, what are you going to do? Adding that they're working with law enforcement to find the culprit. Oh, never mind. Oh shit, blue ball's taking back what's theirs. Tampering with food like this could lead to a fel blue bell, blue bell, not blue ball. Felony charge. Some Twitter felony. They've identified the woman as coming from San Antonio, Texas. Blue bell ice cream is a popular brand sold mainly in the South. Inside Edition producer Alicia Powers is in Louisiana and found the flavor the woman is licking. <laughs> <laughs> God, journalism is such a fucking dumb career. <laughs> Yeah, let's go to a grocery store and for B-roll, buy ice cream. Really determined. <laughs> buy ice cream like you're a personal assistant and your boss made you drive 25 miles for Bluebell because that's all they like because that's what they ate during childhood years. Your producer Alicia Powers is in Louisiana and found the flavor <laughs> the woman is licking. Tin all roof. Right, you got it. Once you remove the lid, the ice cream is exposed. Bluebell explains. <laughs> Once you remove the lid, the ice cream is exposed. Yeah. That's how fucking food works, dude. What do you... What, a second lid? It's not... What are you going to put? A, a, a lock combo? During production, our half gallons are flipped upside down and sent to a hardening room where the ice cream freezes to the lid, creating a natural seal. The lids are frozen tightly to the carton. Any attempt at opening the product should be noticeable. Other ice creams do have a plastic seal. This container of haagen one right there, as does Stony Field, right there on top. And check out this container of Ben & Jerry's. Plastic completely covering the top. All of these are more difficult to tamper with. <laughs> yeah, I, I, you know what? Fuck, fuck Bluebell. Uh, <laughs> I'm fully pivoted. I want my ice cream to be incredibly hard to open. She's not wrong. She isn't wrong. But if that lady in this video picked open the can or, or the top, opened with the the plastic and then licked, what like what's the, what what is she gonna say? <laughs> lick it, lick it. Oh. Bluebell didn't try hard enough. Bluebell kind of asked for this with what they were wearing. <laughs> Jesus Christ! All right, shout out to journalists around the world. Hardest job on earth. Hardest job on earth, baby. Make a March Madness bracket. Do you want to do a, a a team March Madness bracket? Are you high? I'm not high. I haven't chat. Are you proud of me? I have not had a single edible in a month. And I've only had one in the past two months. 
No weed around these parts. No weed around these parts at all. Why not? It was fucking with my shit. I don't know if that's anyone else's experience, but every time I took edibles, it made my it made me it made me feel like I had an 80-year-old's butthole. And anytime I tried to shit, I, I I felt weaker. I don't know how, how I'll, I can't explain it with other words. I wanted a stronger butthole. I felt like my sphincter lost its touch. You meant literally? No, I mean, yeah, I mean literally. Use other words? I'm literally talking about my butthole. I don't know what else to tell you guys. It's, you're supposed to eat fiber? Well, I, look, all I did is stop taking edibles and now it's fixed. And it's not like I changed my diet. I'm also not, yeah, I've, I've never smoked weed. I'm, a, I'm against smoking weed. I don't, I feel like my lungs are meant for oxygen. You know what I mean? Uh, but I did think about cracking because you, the stream that people like the most that I've done in the past, like, few weeks is the drunk driving stream so i thought it'd be kind of interesting to do a high driving stream same idea 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 but i take edibles that could be interesting so we'll see it could be less interesting as a whole but 100 milligram Ooh, maybe we get crazy but i uh what i want to do is figure out a better thing to do during the driving sim because I was kind of making it up as I was going along last time, which I feel like was the worst part about it. I think it was still fun, but having a little more um, like practice, maybe offline going into the world would be good. A thousand milligrams. I would I would die a thousand milligrams. I mean, I don't think I would die, but I would probably throw up. No, you'd have to. Sleep deprivation driving stream. Sleep deprivation makes it really hard. Oh, maybe a 24-hour stream. I drove 24 hours straight. Huh. Huh. Uh, it would it would it would go bad. Is that against YouTube guidelines? What? Smoking smoking or being high? No, I so okay, I used to work at a vape company. You guys know this. But as part of my job at the vape company, I would have to look up vaping influencers, which is a real sentence in a real thing. There are influencers whose entire content is finding new vapes and then smoking fat fucking clouds and then and then being like, yo, this new this new uh puff puff pass is fucking lit, dude. And the same thing exists for for weed. Maddie smokes, yeah, this guy. This guy has been doing this exact content for four years, maybe longer. I think I think maybe longer to be honest. Yo, what is up? Welcome back. How are you all doing? It is a degenerate scum here. It's just three people in a in a car hotboxing it with an elf bar. Is it thirty? <laughs> or a bling? Excuse me, a bling eighty five hundred. Fuck all that. All right, boys. Let's do a little community hit here. So I'll do like a little French inhale. Can anybody French inhale? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> Group French inhale. Now we're cooking. That's where you breathe out of your mouth and breathe in your nose. Well, that one fucking like kind of hurt my nose. <laughs> <laughs> How does it hurt your nose after four years? I feel like if you're vaping that much, it's got to be fine. So these are 5%. Um, they say on them how much liquid they got, I believe. So 5%, so 50. Anyway. <laughs> they're, they're tight. Cody Co made a video about it. Did they? Did he? Cody Co. That's cringe vape hot box. Oh, so he's been doing this for like five years. Oh, he hot boxed with Maddie Smokes. Yo, welcome back. <laughs> Today we're going to be smoking weed. Weed. <laughs> weed. You ever watch a video of someone smoking weed online? Hey everybody, how's it going? So I wanted to do a nice close-up video. So yeah, anyway, it's a thing. This is an iconic vid. Comments? Oh no, they're on. Age restricted? Where did that come from? I mean, I guess they're literally just smoking weed. So you know what? I get it. Actually, on hindsight, I get it. Chad, is Rambu's name actually pronounced Ronbu? Because I got a, a, a like a YouTube clip recommendation and it was like, Falky Ray says Rambu's name wrong. 
And Rambu's like, follow Ronbu. And I've never heard him uh, be called Ronbu by any human ever, ever, ever. But now all of a sudden, I feel like it's Ronbu. What the hell? Mmm. There's nothing quite like a fresh glass of water. But how fresh is water? Well, believe it or not, as much as half of the water you drink is older than the sun. The universe contained water before our sun was born, but for a That's not true. That's not true. That's not true that he made that up. He said that. That's not true. That's not fucking true. Nobody here can convince me that's true. Fine. You know what? Fine. Let's do this. Uh, hop in Discord. Hop in Discord if you're a fucking absolute expert and explain to me why this makes any goddamn sense. Somebody, somebody, somebody who's a real fucking know-it-all, explain to me how water is older than the sun. How water existed before the sun was r real. Plate. Hello, Plate. Oh my god, no way you actually put me in. Plate, do you know the answer? Yo. Hello? Oh, wait. What's up, man? Can you hear me? Oh, can't hear me. Hello? Awkward. Wait, hello? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Plate. Plate. Do you actually know the answer to this, or did you just want to be dragged in? Um. Can I pull up Google? <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you 30 seconds. All right. Is it? Is water old? Um, yeah, they said we can now trace the origins of water in our solar system to before the formation of the sun, said John J. Tobin. So they said they can't. Oh. No, they said we can. Oh, we can. Who's John J. Jobin? Um, who is John <laughs> J. Jobin? Not really. That's what I was hoping for. Um, a partner at Tory's LLP in tax. <laughs> Great. He's an actor? No, okay. that's John H. Tobin. Okay. All right. Well, no, thank we... you very much, Play underscore, <laughs> underscore, underscore. Really appreciate that uh, expert analysis. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, man. <laughs> Is that your fucking best and brightest? <laughs> you know what? It's better than, than half you other fuckers who probably are pulling up chat GPT right now to answer the question for you. <laughs> A long time, it was feared that when a star is born, nearby water could be obliterated into hydrogen and oxygen, and the cosmic rays needed to form plentiful water again could be blocked by its solar wind. Only in rare circumstances, like our own, could a sun reform new younger water in its system after its birth. But recent studies of the water around us and models of how water forms in the first place have found that anywhere from 30 to 50% of the water in our solar system, the water we drink and bathe in, predates the sun. Which is embarrassing for our container. T so then it predates the Earth. Right? Technology. Chemicals in packaging can leach into water, giving it a bad taste over time. So even though much of this water has been around longer than our solar system. So what was it like an ice asteroid that landed on the Earth? Like how the fuck did that happen? Like, like a meteor hit Earth and it was like, oh shit, we got a lot of water here. Like, it was like the Hunger Games, and then, like, whoever runs the galaxy decided that they would give Earth a water drop? There's no way! I literally said the dumbest possible thing I could think of. You're telling me an ice asteroid happened to hit Earth. Just happened to hit Earth. And then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, fucking water was here. You know how lucky that has to be? Watch History of the Universe. It expires in just a few years. Water. Wait, how have I never seen this channel? Is this like a new Curse Gazette? History of the world, I guess, is not where you should be getting your sort information from. Like, I, I fucking love this video. This is not where I'm going to find out about water. 
Hi, you're on a rock, floating in space. Pretty cool, huh? Some of it's water. Fuck it. Actually, most of it's water. I See, he just jumps in a water. He just jumps in a water. Can't even get from here to there without buying a boat. It's sad. I'm sad. I miss you. How did this happen? A long time ago, actually never, and also now, nothing is nowhere. When? Never. Makes sense, right? Like I said, it didn't happen. Nothing was never anywhere. That's why it's been everywhere. It's been so everywhere, you don't need a where. You don't even need a when. That's how every it gets. This video is kind of like die hard. Anytime it comes on, I just watch it all the way through, even if I didn't intend on watching it, even though I've seen it a hundred times. Forget this. I want to be something. Go somewhere. Do something. I want things to change. I want to invent time and space. And I know it's possible because everything is here and it probably already happened. I just don't know when to start. And that's exactly where it started. Oh, I paused it. I think there's a universe now. What's it made of? Corks and stuff. Ah, that's a thing. In a place. Don't like it? Try a new place. At a different time. Try to stick together because the world is going to get bigger and emptier. But it's not empty yet. It's still very full and about a jillion degrees. Great news, the quarks are now happily married in groups of three, called a proton or a neutron. And there's something else flying around too that wants to join in but can't because it's still too- Great news, the protons and neutrons are now happily married to each other. Some of them even doubled up. Great news, the electrons have now joined in. Congratulations, the world is now a bunch of gas in space. But it's getting closer together. And it's getting closer together. And it's getting closer together. It's a star. New shit just got made. Some stars burn out and die. Bigger stars burn out and die with passion and make some brand new, way crazier shit. Space dust. Which allows newer, more interesting stars to be made and then die and explode into Even crazier space dust. So now stars have cool stuff around them, like rocks, ice, and funny clouds, which... So stars came before ice. Ice came after stars. It just happens that our star is a little newer than some other stars. Am I getting this right? Which can make some very interesting things. Like this ball of flaming rocks, for example. Holy shit, we just got hit with another ball of flaming rocks. And it kind of made a mess. Which is... Weather update, it's raining rocks from outer space. Weather update, those rocks might have had water inside them and now there's hot steam in the sky. Fuck, piece of shit. Is that really it? God damn it, that's really it. Why didn't they hit the... Why didn't they hit fucking Mercury? They just hit us? Why didn't they hit fucking Venus, dude? They did? Then why is there no goddamn water on Venus? What? You know? There's records of it. What happened to the water? How do we still have our water? There's water on moons of other planets. I feel like we have a lot of fucking water. Right? We can agree on that. We have a lot of fun. We have more water than we don't. We're mostly water around this earth place that we all live in. And you're telling me that all they got on the other fucking planets is like, uh, there's records that they once had water. Like, what are we, the Nepo baby of the solar system? We're sitting there with everything being like, well, you should have worked harder. Maybe if you, if you didn't buy so much Starbucks, you would have had a little more water in you. You spent all your water on Starbucks. Now you have no fucking water, you broke bitches. <laughs> and we just get all the goddamn water. We're in the Goldilocks zone. I've heard of the Goldilocks zone, but I don't understand why they don't have water. Because even if they didn't have, they should have like a shit ton of ice then. Or you know what I mean? They should be like, you know, I feel like we got, we got so much. We got so much. Also, Mars is so close. There's no water on the moon. Why is there no water on the moon? I don't know. I don't get it. There's water on Venus in steam form because it's so hot there. Do you think we could cool down Venus? Jay Schlatt said something to me the other day that made me fucking guffaw. He said, and I quote, I think one day we're going to move the earth. He said, the earth is never going to be swallowed up by the sun because we're going to move it. And I said, are you fucking crazy? He's like, yeah, they're just, people are going to be like, ah, oh, I like the earth too much and they're going to move it. I said, wouldn't they just move? He's like, nah, nah, somebody, they're just going to be really rich and move the whole earth. Like they're towing a fucking truck. And in my mind, it's like, all right, well, let's say you have a house 
and you don't really like where your house is at because you're in a bad neighborhood or because you found a better house somewhere. You don't exactly bring the home you live in and then move it to the new spot. You get a new fucking You move your ass over there. That's what they're going to do. All right? If the sun is about to explode and all of Earth is going to be devastated, there's going to be a subsection of rich people who all leave and go to Earth 2. And then they're going to leave Earth 1 as is. They're going to be like, it's going to blow up in 10,000 years. And then it's going to blow up in like 50 years. Bold of you to assume humanity makes it that far? I believe. I have high confidence. For as dumb as humans are, there's a lot of smart ones. You know? For every Ludwig, there's a Bill Wirtz. Think about that. Think about that. We just need a, a few more Bill Wirtzes. We get there. Who's the guy who made the hair dryer? The Dyson Airblade? That guy. Whew. That's one of our best and brightest. I fucking love that thing. Anyway. So, yeah, what are you guys up to? What were we doing today? <laughs> What's going on stream today, chat? What are we doing? What are we doing? God damn it, dude. That moist critical thing was fucking crazy yesterday. That moist critical shit was crazy yesterday. About Sneeko and I fully This might be one of my new favorite videos of all time. Planned on that being the only time I ever talked about this asshole. I really did. All I wanted to do was loot fucking dummy the same way that this is also a mag. I don't know how else to phrase this, but after watching this video, I felt like a pussy for not owning a gun. And, like, I've never felt like a pussy for not owning a gun because it was, you know, like, from, like, liberals are too scared to, to, to defend themselves. But the moment Charlie pulled out the gun, I was like, I'm a bitch. I need a goddamn gun. I need a gun and I need one yesterday. They're all mags. Stop saying clips. You look fucking stupid here. Anyway. Buy a gun on stream? Do an IRL gun shopping stream? Seems like you shouldn't legally be allowed to do that, but you you know what? I can. I can do that. A 10 millimeter is a good choice for Cali? What does that mean? What's, what does that mean? What do you, <laughs> what's a good choice for Cali? Like, okay, let's flip the question. What's a good choice for Florida? Like, if I'm in Florida, what gun am I supposed to get? An M4? Really? And then if you're in, like, Nebraska, you get one of those old-timey guns that you have to pack the gunpowder in, <laughs> and it takes 45 minutes to reload. You say hee-haw before you shoot it every time. Wait for the whites of their eyes to be in, in range. Letting chat choose my gun. Why aren't there more gun skins in real life? Am I crazy? Gamers spend so much money on their gun skins looking really cute and pretty. And I feel like I don't see a lot of gun skins in real life. Like, I feel like there are more gamer gun skins than IRL gun skins. I know there are some, but I feel like they're all like tacky fucking skull and bones fucking, you know, black decal army style. I, I don't see it like a lot of like like ooh woo girl, <laughs> you know. I don't see a lot of like gun buddies of like a pooping cow that looks really kawaii. It's kind of cringe to have that IRL. Really, I feel like if you have a gun, and it has like what's her name Mikasa or Misaka, the girl from Chainsaw Man that everyone wants to step on her, and you have that girl on your gun, and you, and you kill someone with that, that's kind of, I feel like that'd be cute. I mean, no, no, not killing someone. That would be bad. But I mean, like, that would be badass. It wouldn't be badass. Do you know what I'm trying to say here? I'm kind of losing my point as I'm talking. Look up liberal gun owners on Reddit. Oh, it's not a thing. I thought liberal gun owners was a real. Oh, wait, it is a Reddit. Liberal gun owners for progressives who enjoy shooting guns.
A poster I made for Pride Parade. Don't tread on me. Not all country boys are bigots. Happy Pride Month. Do they have any cute guns in here? Show me a cute gun. <laughs> They're all ugly ass guns. Yeah, this is the skin I feel like I see every gun. Oh, there it is. There we go. That's not bad. That's kind of a that's kind of a cute one. Look up Uwoozy. I looked it up and then a video came up. It said, girl nine accidentally kills instructor in Uzi accident. So uh, we'll go off guns for a little moment here. <laughs> Oof, that was a twist. That was a twist. <laughs> okay, here's a, a billion dollar business. Anyone can take this. Just give me 10% of your profits. Billion dollar business. IRL. CSGO cases and you ship somebody a case and you sell the key separately and it can either be a really cute pretty gun or a knife that's not bad that's illegal well you just you always ship them gloves that way it's not illegal but it could be a gun but you don't actually tell them you don't actually ship guns Hey, I just wanted to say thank you all for joining us here today at the funeral service for FaZe Clan. They had a great run, one of the biggest orgs in all of esports, gaming in general, really. And now they're buried six feet under. I'm sure you may have taken a look at the FaZe stock price over the last couple days just to have a good hearty belly laugh. This puppy is crashing harder than D.B. Cooper when he jumped out of that airplane. It's that. Oh, that's the, that's that. Okay, yeah. Is that, let me know. Let me know I made that video. Phase is fine. Phase is fine. Okay? And and by fine, I mean they're not going anywhere. Phase stock is crumbling. The people who own and operate Phase are inept. But Phase as an entity will persist, right? Like Phase is not going to disappear. Even if they default and go bankrupt. They'll be bankrupt and then and then reform through that bankruptcy. I imagine. Maybe I'm wrong about this. Do a hostile takeover of phase? I mean, at this point, it probably costs like fifty dollars in a pack of gum, but down to forty two cents and it's at risk of being delisted from the stock market itself. A ninety five point eight percent decrease. It is disastrous. And FaZe's whole market cap is 29 mil. Well, 30 mil. That's their entire market cap. That is so low. I think, and I'm I'm not even fucking around. I think Trainwreck, if he really wanted to, could buy that in cash. <laughs> Just with all the money he's made from Stake.com. I think he could straight up buy that in cash. And it only continues to get worse. A lot of FaZe Clan veterans have come forward with their horror stories about being in the org and everything awful going on behind the scenes. And it's honestly heartbreaking. Like, it, it is rough. It seems completely miserable and just this sinking ship, this festering wound that continues to ooze pus. And it's all very public because now it's publicly traded. So more people can see it and more and more members are coming forward. It's just a catastrophe. And I wanted to talk about it a little bit today because, I mean, all of you know, I own an esports organization, Moist Esports. I promise you there's no orgs doing it like we're doing it. I'm actually kind of curious. Hold up. So FaZe is a publicly traded company, and because they're a publicly traded company, everything they do is visible, right? They have due diligence, so they have to show everything they do from how much they pay their CEO to how much they pay for content to whatever. What? 
You have to this what? Oh, bro. Just let me look, smile face. Just let me peek behind the curtain, smile face. Paywalls are kind of cringe, but I understand them. They're not cringe. I think I, like you guys, just expect everything on the internet to be free. And anytime they say pay, I'm like, fuck you, you son of a bitch. Just serve me an ad and take my customer data. <laughs> we're the best goddamn org in the world. And we're also losing tons and tons of money. But the difference between us and FaZe is we know that. We're in it losing money with a smile on our goddamn face because the content is legendary. Joel, you smell what the rock is cooking. It's the people's elbows. <laughs> Tombstone pizza. <laughs> I this I swear to God is the only motherfucker on YouTube who can get away with on their own video splicing in a screen record from a Twitter with their video again compressed down to shitty Twitter quality. And then uploading that. Like, what? This looks like shit. This is like the... This This is like, I guess, what you expect the video to look like when you see a Charlie thumbnail, because that's the quality it's at, usually. But God damn, who gets away with this? Shut up, bitch. <laughs> I'm seeing Charlie's mouth, like, move a, 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 as, as, as if it was AI interpolating the frames. <laughs> No, very, very unlikely. I'm even... tired of digging holes, Grandpa. Well, that's too damn bad. Go moist moguls. moguls. By the way, they play tomorrow at 1 p.m. Pacific against FaZe. Speak of the devil. I wonder if he's going to bring that up. I wonder if he's going to bring that up. Tomorrow, FaZe literally plays against moist moguls. To make it into MSI, the midseason invitational tournament, where only the top eight of 12 teams make it through. <laughs> I just chose two random clips from some watch parties we did recently. One of them's like a Rocket League regional, and then that one's actually from our most recent watch party for the Moist Moguls Valorant squad, our Valorant team, when we beat Shopify Rebe Rebellion last week. So, just quick moments that were on top quick of moments. my brain. Quick it's moments. It's so much fucking fun. Yes, we lose a ton of money, but we're not at risk of closing anytime soon. In fact, we're only going more hog wild in the industry. But FaZe Clan is what we're here to talk about today. Because it is just looking terrible for them. Phase T. I think we have a moist announcement coming soon. By the way, chat. I'm not a hundred. I don't think it's. I don't think it's fucking. I don't think we're. I don't think we're. We're dick sweat inked, ready to go. But we, we. I think something's been cooking. Go recently put a, put out a video putting them on blast, going over some things, and I kind of dove in. in we're making CS go three. <laughs> we're making CS go three, and we're forming a team for it now. And we're going to have a 7 to 15 year head start on everybody else. In detail on some of the stuff that I've learned in the industry and exactly what's going on over there. So I just wanted to talk about it a little bit. I would wager a guess that all of the original phase members are at the mercy of all of the suits that have been brought in. And <laughs> Why is this a screen recording from Moist Charlie Clips? That's not even your official channel, right? Control of phase. How are you going to be the biggest organization in the world? I, I still don't get this Tico video. This Tico video pisses me off. I, I want to be on Tico's side, and I am on Tico's side because I'm always against the person side as opposed to the corporation side. But in the video, I was just confusing what he wanted and what he didn't get. It was just kind of confusing. That is his second channel? Okay, that makes sense then. That makes way more sense. It seems like he was just fed up, but I just feel like it wasn't conveyed ad adequately for me to understand his gripe and what has happened. I'm always for the person against the corporate. I said that backwards, but you, I think you know what I mean. It feels like he was like, I wanted more ownership in the company. And, the, and like, I think that's a fine thing to think, but all I could think of in the back of my head is, do you really? <laughs> Have you seen the stock price, buddy? Are you sure you want some fucking... Phase stocks right now? Is that really what you're looking for? Come on. Let's be real with ourselves. It's the least valuable thing next to toilet paper. Use toilet paper. Theaters in this scene, pushing this scene forward, pushing this industry forward. Do you know Jeremy Lin? That's what, that's what I've never been asked this in my life. No, I don't know. But I know who he is, of course. 
leading by example, and you can't even take care of your members that's been in for 12 fucking years. I've never claimed to be- Well, it's because it's, that's the whole space. It got infested with Silicon Valley types. They assumed aggressive control. Sorry, I, I, I don't like watching that. I like, I, I love watching Charlie videos, but whenever it's a clip of the stream, I'm usually, I, I usually click out. That's my dirty little secret. I like watching Charlie at his chair saying, saying random analogies. But I watch his stream so much that half the time I'm just re-watching shit if I watch the stream stuff. This is my dirty secret. I, I, I'm, I'm ashamed, but it is true. It is true. It is what I do. Doug, Doug, chat. I think next week, next Wednesday, me and Doug, Doug are going to do a bro versus bro. I don't know if I'm supposed to leak that. I think it's fine to leak that. Anyway, me, me versus Doug, Doug in a bro versus bro next Wednesday. Pog. And if I win, then um, he will admit that it's no longer considered stealing content, right? He, he's going to give me permission to use all his content until the end of times. March Madness bracket. I already made my own March Madness bracket, but I feel like most people here don't give a shit. Most people here don't understand sports balls. They might even call it sports balls, which I think is cringe, but... It's just the facts. It's just the facts. Oh, I've been meaning to watch Test. this. Chat, do you want to do a movie night and watch this video? Should we watch jet lag first? Should we watch jet lag first, then watch this? Or should we watch this, then jet lag? Maybe this first? Didn't we already watch jet lag? There's a second episode. This, if you don't know, so this, I, I watch uh, this guy named, uh, well, you guys know him. You know Rainbolt? Geo, Geo Guesser God, Rainbolt? Rainbolt made a... Um, um, Rainbolt made a video like a Q&A and in it he was asked what his favorite YouTube video is and he said this video and I've bookmarked it since then but I've never watched it and he said it's his favorite video in all of YouTube and it has 81,000 views and I feel like that it has to go, it has to be insane it has to go dummy hard All right, hold up. Let's watch a daily dose while we consider our options here. These tourists on a cruise. Hello, everyone. This is your daily dose of internet. These tourists on a cruise ship suddenly experience some extreme static electricity. This is actually a pretty scary. Wait, isn't that lightning? Warning sign, as it means lightning could strike at any moment. <laughs> But nothing happened and nobody was harmed. I found someone who probably has the coolest and most unique looking skin in the world. That is cool and unique looking. Spicy ketchup and a water. And then that's it. Is there a cop? Alright, 22, 30 second window. Are y'all getting robbed? <laughs> Are y'all getting robbed right now? Yeah. What? I fast food fast food workers put up with too much. They put up with too much and don't get paid nearly enough to put up with it. How are you gonna operate a drive through while getting robbed? On the flip side though, alright, this is gonna be a hot take. Some fast food workers make the other fast food workers look so bad. <laughs> Some fast food workers, I they clock out the, the moment they step in the restaurant. And look, I get it. Sick job, they're not paid enough. But I had a Taco Bell where I used to live. And every single night when I would drive to that Taco Bell, they would be like, ah, we're not taking anybody right now. And I was like, what? 
They're like, nah, we're not, we're not doing that right now. And I was like, all right, okay. It's like, yeah, food order only. And so I, I made myself my own DoorDash driver by doing DoorDash pickup and then picking up the food, which made me pay DoorDash fucking fees, even though I, it's the same thing. I don't get it. The talk about I work that did that. Can you explain why? Why do they do that? Is it so they don't have to talk to anybody? Is that it? Is it just because they hate talking to people? I mean, I get that, I guess. I feel like all Taco Bells do that. Watch Tyler Blanchett ghost videos. I, am I getting raided? I feel like I've seen eight people say this, but I can't. Is it like, did it just come out or something? Not too many working. What is Tyler Blanchett? Tyler Blanchett. What? Nothing came up. Is this a D's nuts joke? You got one guide? I swear like 10 people said it. A few days ago, this flight on the way to Germany experienced some extreme turbulence. There were no major injuries, but people were so scared that afterwards the entire I pray to God Cutie never sees this Daily Dose video. My God, if Cutie was on this plane, our asses would be driving to New Hampshire every year. Tire cabin was completely silent. Oh man, it's so cold out here. I can't feel my toes. This dog trainer wanted to show that it's possible to train sheep to behave just like dogs. Would sheep be good pets? Are sheep good pets? This is how someone who is blind scrolls through social media on their phone. Their phone will read and tell them what the comments say. But here's the really cool thing. Since this person is blind, their sense of hearing and listening is heightened. He can understand and listen to his phone reading comments at 365 words per minute. The grip That's actually the average juicer. <laughs> He's just an XQC fan. This is what it feels like when I boot up my audiobook app and I haven't like been fully awake for more than an hour. And I'm like, why the fuck do I listen to it at this speed? I don't understand shit all that's happening. The grip strength this bug has is absolutely incredible. This guy surprised his wife by getting his first haircut in over two years. Hey, <gasps> <laughs> wow, actually amazing breath control. Finally have an E90 with not one, but two working cup holders. <laughs> and 
It's only got 33,000 miles. This person wanted to show how goofy human behavior is by walking around an object and seeing if anyone else would join. After about a minute, a large crowd of complete strangers joined her. Yeah, I'd be doing that too. I'd be walking around like, I don't want to disrespect the culture. <laughs> Of course, it's the counterclockwise monolith dedicated to the green scarabug. The scientist. Although one time I remember I read like, like uh, everybody faces the door in an elevator because that's what you're supposed to do. So now I've been reverse NPCing myself. So I just walk into an elevator and every time I'm in an elevator, I refuse to look at the door. I will never look at the door on an elevator. I stare out the other way. Sometimes I miss my floor because of this. Though I don't even think, I don't even think, I don't even think about facing the door. That's weird. No, you're just scared because I'm a nonconformist and I, I'm, a, I'm an edge breaker, a rule breaker. Wanted to show how different sand looks around the world. Pretty. Ugly, gross, British, crooked pretty here's an efficient and satisfying way to clean off a highway in one sweep that's tight i've seen that i've driven behind that it sucks but it is dope that is the end of this video are we hope you enjoyed and i'll see you guys again very very soon later you cheated letter Snake. All right, let's watch it. Um, Man City versus Leipzig. What the heck is Leipzig? What was I looking up, chat? Uh, jet lag. Drama. Chad, do you know if you're on Twitch and then you hover in the top left, this little icon will flip upside down after a while and kill itself or something or die? I don't exactly know what happens here. It blinks and then it turns around. It gets shy. Our Hello and welcome back to episode two of our race across New Zealand. We're racing from here to here and along the way, we've turned the country's highway system into one giant board game. There are many different paths to the bottom, but each one is blocked by different challenges. Each challenge rewards a certain amount of coins, which can be spent to sabotage the other team. Right now, the teams have split up. After starting behind, Ben and Adam just took the lead on the more reliable western route because Toby and I took our chances on the luck-based eastern route and had to veto our last challenge. We watched episode one yesterday, if you guys weren't here. It's not that integral to your understanding of episode two. It was actually kind of a snoozer episode. What happened is that they were driving. One went on a safer, longer path that's more assured but slower. And then one went on the risky, shorter path, but they had to dig a 36-inch hole in a beach, and they couldn't do that. So they, they're stuck at the beach. So right now there's a big lead for Ben and Adam, and then Sam and Toby are further behind. In this season, we are Sam and Toby fans because we've been rooting for Ben and Adam for so long, they've had it too good for too long. And Sam needs to take back what's his. That means we can't make any progress for the next 60 minutes. They, you, you can dig a hole at a beach, but like 36 inches is pretty deep, man. <laughs> we'll be fine. Maybe. I believe, I, I, know, I, I know theoretically that we have so much game in front of us and they can have bad luck too. Mm -hmm. And over the length of the game should have bad luck too. I just, I just hate it because it just seems. Didn't you say you're going to be misogynistic and go back to Team Ben and Adam? Right, I forgot about that. Yep, yeah, sorry, forgot. Misogynist. Sorry, I always forget that I'm that. It's like, it's like always behind. We have a lot of snacks in this car. We bought all New Zealand Is snacks. Is Toby a YouTuber, so chat? we're going to do a little snack review. We're snack gonna, review! A show within a show. 
It's called Snack Boys with a C. Hassan, by the way, oh my god, Hassan asked me to do the most snoozer stream idea, but I said yes to it. God bless his soul. He was like, I got a bunch of protein snacks. You want to come try my protein snacks on stream? I think he just wants to try them, but he just wanted to stream it as well and make it a little more fun. So anyway, I think I'm going to try protein snacks with Hassan on Friday. I just thought it was so... He was like, let's try protein snacks. I was like, okay, all right, I guess. <laughs> Such a random thing to try, but sure, yeah, we'll do it. We'll do it. We could do it. That's fine. We could do it. Let's do it. I think he just wanted to hang out, so I'm happy to hang out. We might work on that. Uh, our first snack is rations with this fun penguin on it. That oh, is a fun penguin. Bad. What's their flavor profile, supposedly? Cheddar? Cheesy bacon attack. Oh. Wow. Oh, I hate that. That, that sounds delightful. Cheesy bacon attack. Yeah, I do feel attacked. Am I the am I the, a fucking freak? Because I like when all my senses are so overwhelmed with flavor that I can't actually taste anything. I can just feel my taste buds tingling. We've arrived in Okaihau. All right, so tunnel's just up there. There it is. <laughs> Sing the Okaihau Express and the Okaihau Rail Tunnel. Okaihau used to be the northernmost rail terminus in New Zealand. Both team members must memorize and sing the Okaihau Express uninterrupted while standing in the Okaihau Rail Tunnel. If you make any mistakes, you must start from the beginning. You may not begin memorizing until you arrive. This is a cool shot. It's like uh, in a music video, which this kind of is. Sick. Okay, so it starts out in Oteria, the smallest it train from, Oteria. from, okay, because we have to get every word right. Yeah. We cannot get a single word wrong. This. An engine and a guard's van. What is that? I don't know. Oh, there we go, finally. Okay, we're off. Okay. What's the song back on the road again? You know that song? With our V. <laughs> no period up, Toby and I are headed to our next challenge. Win the lottery in KO. Roll a die. Buy that number of instant Kiwi Scratchy tickets. If you win any amount of money on any of your scratch-offs, you complete the challenge and unlock the shortcut. If you fail, you cannot retry this challenge and you'll be forced to go around the long way. Uh, I've done some studying of the scratch it tickets that may be available to us. Okay. To, because the odds of each of them are published online. Oh, and they're and different And I found odds. the three best uh, rated odds for scratchies. All right, we're getting well, close. Welcome to K. That's the nerdiest shit I've ever heard. K K K KO? KO? KO. KO. Uh, we're going to Force which is right there. Nice. Okay. Someone just said Tyler Blanchett, these nuts is so. We don't have the dice. Damn it. We don't have the dice. <laughs> oh no. We got so excited. All right. Is I she a, a she's role. a math YouTuber, actually? Okay, that's five. good. That's, that's good. Five. Nice that's job. Good. What the fuck good is role. a math YouTuber? Do they have her linked? They don't have her linked? It's kind of fucked up, to be honest. Toby Math YouTuber. I read Brian Cox's PhD thesis, so you don't have to. Well, thank you, because I definitely wouldn't have. I don't know what that is. Why haven't you read Einstein's E equals MC squared proof? <laughs> okay, yeah, I've ne this is crazy. She's actually a math YouTuber. <laughs> I tried the Harvard MIT math tournament, but I can't even. Man, math YouTube's crazy. People love math. Don't make it with five of them. We are actively unlucky. He's rocking those crocs. Oh, she's rocking those crocs. Right get outdoors. Yep, that's one. I thought that was Sam. And this one here, the lemons. Three and two. Thank, Thank you very you. much. All right, we just need to win any. Nothing yet. Oh, it has a bridge. Oh, this rocks. The She's bed. going round the bend, going 10 miles an hour. Oh, that doesn't make any sense. No, it smelled of steak for of or like of. of. And the engine smelled like steak for of we steak. Smelled of. Oh, I got a beast here. Oh, I think. You know who could never complete that challenge memorizing all the words in a song? Is LeBron James. 
don't know if you ever seen LeBron James right before a game start to sing some random song from J. Cole or whoever. He starts just making up the words. Like, off the rip, too. That guy knows zero words of songs. I think I got it. I think I got it. Really? Yeah, look at that. Beach chair, beach oh chair, God. right? Beach chair, beach chair, $10. I'm cringing right? at the yeah. nail scratching. Room. Match any winning symbol to any other. We've done it. Take it. Huzzah! Take it. Go Let's get go. your $10. Go get no, your $10. No, no, we don't have time. We'll do it later. <laughs> Let's go. Nice job. That's great. We didn't even need the five. <laughs> but our six million is on the five, and I'm keeping them. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. <laughs> no, no, we're slipping. We're lucky. Yes, finally. What the, what the hell are people? How fucking long is this song? Jesus. Peace. When they're dripping from the rack. What does that mean? Riding the... Okay, what the f***? Okay. What? Is that like dirty? No. I hope not. Okay, so we now theoretically know all of the words. You want to just go for it? I think we should go for it. Okay. Hope she... Starts out from Moteria, the smallest train you'll see. No, nope. you've already got it wrong. What? You've seen, like, back on the road again. Some Stop bringing it up, Sam. Something, 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 something. You know, on works. the road what? again. So Me the next and my intersection mom are on the road after again. the falls is actually pretty close after the falls. So I, th I think we want to start kind of discussing what the plan is, right? What's the plan, Toby? Should we find out where Ben and Adam are now? Oh, yes, let's have a look. Because it could be very much decided by which route they go on, and they're yes, wonder, probably in front of us by now. if they've already done that junction. They, are, they haven't got to the junction yet. They are oh. just before the junction. They that are. is good. They are still in Okai Hal. Yeah, we're they, not as... I think they're at the tunnel. I think they're actually at the, the tunnel singing the song right now. Well, hopefully they're having a really hard time memorizing. <laughs> oh, it's a f***ing nightmare right here. Let's... <laughs> Having a mental breakdown in the Okaiho tunnel. Let's just give it a go. I think we've got it. She starts out from Moteria. The driver doesn't worry if he takes the journey slow. Driving. No, it's driving. It's it's dry. He goes he now because we're talking about the drive. Do they both need to sing it? Or was that I didn't read the rules. Because if only I think one should sing it and one should check. Because otherwise, how do you know, right? They both need to sing it? Oh, it sucks. She was going round. No, no. No, what? It's she's going. It's not she was going? No, it's not was. Are you sure? I'm sure. We can look at it. She was. She was going. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you. The driver doesn't worry if he takes the journey slow. Driving. Mm, I just, you get the this in your He looks like he's going to beat him up. Brain. But, but no one no knows the difference when they're driven from, from the, the sack. Rack. No! F rack. F f f <laughs> the rack. The driver doesn't worry if he takes the journey slow. Then Driving. Bro, how the fuck are you going to mess that up three times, Ben? Like, I'm, I'm, I, I've been Team Ben since day dot. Day dot. Also, dripping from the sack was mighty sus. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. <laughs> no. no. Oh, my God. How long have we been here? Don't worry about it. She starts out from, from Oteria. The sparrows try to say. Now we have to be lucky again. Uh, going to Rainbow Falls. The pronunciation is so, so bad. Yeah, obviously. You got a couple of Americans singing it, all right, with a little bit of theater energy, a little bit of zest to it. They're not going to spotty dotty crush the Oteria whatever song, you know, whatever the hell it's called. Okaiho. Ohio. Take a lucky Ohio swim Moss. at Rainbow Falls. Roll the die. If it is four, five, or six, you must swim to under Rainbow Falls and back. If it is one, two, or three, you do not have to. You must continue rolling. Roll a die. If it's four, five, or six, you must swim to the Rainbow Falls and back. If it's one, two, or three, you don't have to. What the fuck? Wait, you must continue rolling? So wait, what? Until you get a one, two, or three. Toby, I think to gauge how our luck currently is... You wait, that's... 
so good. That means you could just roll it and do nothing. You should scratch the rest of the scratchies off, and we, if we get the grand prize, we will share the price of our private jet to Fiji. Oh, yeah, I'm going to enjoy telling Ben and Adam about that. Hope you guys are having fun wherever you are. Ha! We got it. It's this time. <sighs> she starts out from our chair, takes the journey boat. slow. Driving the Heavy. engine smelled of steak for a week. No one knows the difference when they're dripping from the rack. Oh, oh Kai, how to Oteria? It's, it's just a single track. This is the Okai How Express. You can't turn it at the terminus. You just reverse. No, I said have. Why? Why did you throw? Honestly, I, I would be doing that SNL, you know, that old ass SNL bit where they had fucking, uh, God, what was it called? It was like the SNL bit. Was it Amy Poehler and, 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 uh, shit, the guy with the guy who plays in, in the, the fucking, he should, they should just say it real slow is what I'm trying to say so that they get each other to, to match on the same word. The one with more confidence. Fred Armisen. That was it. <laughs> no! Yeah, you're a much luckier dice roller, so you should. Uh, All right, let's get this die and. Uh, not even turning off the cards. We won't need it, right? Manifest. No, 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 we won't need it. A one, two, or three, that means I don't have to swim. Okay. <laughs> Do they get coins for that? Job, look at, let's go, let's go, let's go. Here. They got coins on. for that? Nice job. Okay, you need to roll every single die here to take the camera. It's too bad we can't see the falls, but on the other hand. We're in the falls car park. Uh, we made it so close yet so far from actually seeing the beautiful I'm sure they're great falls. falls. Hopefully we can insert a nice little stock image of the falls right now. We're not gonna miss my odds are uh, fucking this great. Victory, right? Now that we're back in business, that's how that's how the jet lags, you know. Oh my god! Okay, it's taking so much longer. I don't think I know how to swim. Well, I thought. Okay, kids. here we go. She starts out from Oteria. If he takes the journey slow, driving the. She was going round the bend, doing ten miles an hour. No one knows the difference when they're dripping from the rack, riding the Okai. Okai, how to Oteria? It's just a single track. This is the Okai How Express. You can't turn it at the terminus. You, you just reverse her back. This is the Yokai How Express. Express. Okay, well, that was tough. This is the Yokai How Express. Express. <laughs> I feel like that hug kind of encapsulates what we were watching. Wholesome, though. Oh my god! Let's go, let's get this in okay. hell. We gotta go. Oh. That took so long. Oh my god! All right, here we go. I feel like this competition was poorly weighted because Sam and Toby are sitting at 35 coins. They got there faster to the junction. Adam and Ben, who took the most secure route, have 20 coins, and they're literally on like the same pace. Unfortunately, we don't have time for a full analysis of all the best things here because yeah. maps are not working, reception's not working, but... We're gonna have to... They did get the shortcut, true. Rush. But they also, we they waited rush, one hour we'll last video. Now. The next decision point is a big one. There are two routes. The like that veto did shorter, nothing. An estimated 122 minutes compared to the Western route's 192 minutes. But making up for the longer driving time is the fact that the Western route only has three relatively safe challenges, like visiting a tree, while the Eastern route has five challenges, several of which are time consuming or risky. Most notably, the cream trip at the Bay of Islands, where teams will have to find a way to travel between three islands. So once again, the I feel like going with the the right route long term is better because you're going to get more coins. Decision it's like going to college in life.
in the game of life. In real life, your degree is fucking useless. It comes down to how much risk teams want to take on. I think I would lean towards the Western route because it seems like lower risk. For what it's worth, I suspect Ben and Adam are going to take the Eastern route. Just because every time I talk to them, yeah. leading up to this trip, they tell me how excited they are to go to the ASU Bay of did Islands, win. which is on the Eastern route. Shout out ASU. We are going to the Bay of Islands. Going to the Bay of Islands. Uh, I think it's going to be very beautiful there. Yeah. Oh. I mean, it's so, it supposedly as the second bluest sky for Breslin. In the world. Yeah, ASU won to get into March Madness, and after the game ended, they had a banner roll down, and it said for Breslin, and uh, 1983 to 1999, and it's forever memorialized. Forkham Devils. Yeah, that, that's sick. I don't really know what that means, but it sounds cool. It does sound really cool. Uh, the East Route is so cool. I'm really excited for some of the stuff we're gonna know. It'll be interesting to see whether Sam and Toby they follow behind decide us. to follow behind us. If I were them, I would follow behind us. We figured out that Ben and Adam are going wow. east towards the Bay of Islands. Okay. Smart. Um, personally, I think it's unlikely that we get to the Bay of Islands and complete that challenge before them, especially given that they might drop some roadblocks and stuff. Yeah. The thing about the West Route is those challenges are very predictable, I think, and they're very straightforward. Like, well, I've got a little bit of trauma from the sand on the beach, and I, I'm just wanting yes. to do challenges that I know 100% yep. we can achieve. Yep. I don't want to get to the kayak shop. They're not open. Loud, you know Arizona State's out. better. Sold out. Yeah, it's too windy. Yeah. It's too choppy. I don't want to know about it. I want to go to a tree. In that's college been at 16, Breslin is one of the smartest people you'll ever yeah. meet. Agreed. Let's lock it in. All right. West route. So it seems like they've. Oh my god, I totally fucking forgot, chat. The whole point of me pulling up the crane game video against Connor was to tell you guys to fucking vote for me. So I can beat Connor in this dumbass contest. Connor always wins his stupid ass contests because he does the votes. All right. And I'm I'm losing right now. But literally there are twenty thousand people in here. So if you just go vote for me, I'll beat Connor. Okay. Just in like so just like just be a homie, right? Just like be a homie. Just be a homie and vote for me, right? Like fuck it. You voted for yourself? Yeah, I voted for myself. Yeah. I did vote for myself. Okay? But like that's you're supposed if if you don't if I don't have my back then who does, you know if not me who if not now when, if not this then what you know come on, so anyway let's get some votes going we're at thirty nine thousand one hundred twenty five I'm about to see this number skyrocket in a second here I know it, thirty six point six, thirty nine thousand. Are you guys fucking with me? Did like seven of you vote? Bro, what? I'm, maybe it's gonna update. Taken the other way, the the west route. Really? Yeah. Um, huh. So they're not following behind us, which is bold. I mean, okay, okay. I think there's a really good chance we're gonna beat them to Auckland now. Okay, we are uh, about 15 minutes from the Bay of Islands, where the next challenge is. Complete a cream trip at the Bay of Islands. Cream trip is the term for the traditional transport of goods between Nothing's islands happening. at the Bay of Islands. For this challenge, you have to transport any kind of cream between any three islands. Both team members must eat some of the cream while on each of the islands. So, yeah, we can hopefully just hop in a kayak, get some cream, bring it to the islands. Thanks for voting for out. me, though. Easy yeah. peasy. I mean, I don't know if it's going to be easy peasy. Well, okay, but, you know, it'll be fun. It'll be fun. It'll be fun. Fun, funny peasy. Fun peasy. That doesn't quite it's have gonna the same It's going to be fun peasy. God, New Zealand's so fucking beautiful. <laughs> Yo, imagine they just hit whippets on the islands. Whippets got to be huge in New Zealand. I don't know if they are, but I'm just I just got to imagine whippets are a big thing. That work. What do you normally do on road trips? 
Normally what I do on road trips is um, listen to the entire unabridged just song. Look at that. I got three more percent. Let's go. 3,000 people voted. Thanks, guys. All right. Now another 10,000 you vote, please. Thank you. Of they're called they're called nangs. I don't. I hope that's what it's actually called. I hope that's not. I mean, you're not making me say something dumb. Nangs. Lizzo. Uh, I was telling Sam yesterday. I exclusively listened to Eminem Bardcore myself. <laughs> yeah. Um. It took some explaining what that was. But There's medieval remixes. Medieval remixes of pop songs, I guess, is the is the gist, right? Yeah, that's my favorite genre. Okay, uh, so we have been assuming kayaks, but you just saw some motorboats out by the pier. We're going to ask if you're allowed to rent. I'm keen as for some nines, man. Hey there, you jet ski rentals? It's a little bit of a store. Is that right? Is that right? Oh, on a tour? Yeah. Oh, okay. No, thanks, then. Alright, it's kayaks, Sorry. Do you want to play 20 questions? I don't know how to play 20 questions. You just, you just have to ask questions. I'm, I'm going to think of a person. You have to ask questions, yes or no questions, and you get 20 to figure out who the person is. Okay. Are they a New Zealander? No. <laughs> what a bad question. No offense. Sorry, Toby. You're doing great. You're doing great. It just feels like that was... Probably should have narrowed it down a little more with that one, I feel like. That might have been too niche. Are they female? No. Imagine it was Are yes. That'd be amazing. Singer? No. Are they a sports star? In a way. It probably depends who you ask whether or not it's a sport. Okay, so there's an island there. Is it a chess player? It's Magnus Carlsen. There's an island there. There's an island there. We need to get to all of them. The cream on them, I guess. Kayaks up there. I think we're going to be fine. Okay. So we want to double 45. Somebody in here. There's no one in here. Just steal it. Fuck I don't it. love that. Leave a 30 on the table. Is there another kayak rental spot? Uh, nice. Is there Did they miss the sign that says, please read? Uh, nice. Is this sport a, um, a card-based game? Yes. Oh, it's Is himself? It one Is it... One of the people currently playing jet lag. Yes. <laughs> so my final guess at question number twenty is: Is it Adam Chase? No, oh, <laughs> no. It was Ben. <laughs> Devastating. Well, there's no one here. Wait, then why would he say no to being a singer? They're both amazing singers. So. Seemingly someone was here earlier. I mean, like, they left their glasses here. That guy's dragging the kayak. Oh, is that our guy? That looks like it might be our guy. <laughs> no. <laughs> Do you have kayaks? Looks around. Uh, yeah, no. No, I actually have zero kayaks. <laughs> These guys are they're too American for New Zealand. They're too American right now. <laughs> Do you have kayaks? Looks around at fucking 40 kayaks. <laughs> no. Uh. Thank you. Alright. We're gonna stop recording for a minute so the band can help me paddle. Okay. So we'll see you closer to the first island. This one. Okay, bye. I can announce that not only are Ben and Adam in Pai here doing the cream trip, but their tracker is no longer on the land. Oh no. They are Don't say doing a cream trip. It just sounds. Are in fact in the ocean on their way to the first or, or, or the second or the third of their islands. Whether they're in a kayak or a jet ski, I'm not sure. 
A jet ski that would be. Uh... I know that's what it's called. I know that's what it's called. But it it, it could be perceived. I'm not dirty minded. I'm not dirty minded. I have an open mind. My mind's very open. But if I'm on a cream trip with a with a with a one stop shop to zero loads refused land, you're not gonna think to yourself, "Oh, he's probably having whipped cream in the Ohio Islands." Quite something. Um, that would that would make it easier. So I just realized that we could have. I didn't make it weirder. I didn't make it weirder. I just said I'm on a cream trip with zero loads refused. He probably would have taken us to the island. I think he probably would. But we're doing it the good old fashioned way. Adam tweeted at you. Oh my gosh, what did Adam say? Fun fact, Ludwig. We cut it, but one of the rounds of 20 questions on this drive, the answer was Ludwig. What the heck? And you cut it? Did they get it? Oh my gosh, how exciting. How exciting. Hey. We've arrived at the first island. My car game of choice is Afghanistan. Have, has, any, has anyone played Afghanistan? You say a country. The first country is always Afghanistan. And then the next country has to be a country that starts with the letter of the last country said. So if I say Afghanistan, you have to be like, uh, end country, N Norway. And then I'd be like, oh, Yemen. You know, and then you keep going. Or you, you can do it with states, or you can do it with uh, you can do it with uh, cities. You can do it with uh, 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 other things, animals even. Come here and let me feed you cream. Be careful of your little feet. Oh, and I'm the one who says it fucking weird. I'm the one who says it weird. Island. Come here and let me feed you cream. Yeah, you're telling me that I'm the one who's perceiving it weird. Look, really? I'm the weird one. Really? Really? It's me. Okay. Okay, buddy. Be careful of your little feet. These little guys, I hate them. Uh. Yay. Everybody knows it's a cream trip with no loads refused, all right? And that's what it is. Yeah, that's not great. All right. We're on route... To island number two. It's that little one. Okay. okay. I'm going to be honest, Ben, before, when I was like, we can definitely do this in 30 minutes, maybe even 20, I think I was wrong about that. It seemed bold. It is harder than I'd like it to be. Ben, ben doing jack shit in the front. It's getting pretty forested. Weaving through the forest, off to find... What I believe to be the Jonathan. largest known cowrie tree in New Zealand. Mm, cowrie tree. Admire Tane Mahuta. Tane Mahuta is the world's largest known living cowrie tree, estimated to be between 1,250 to 2,500 years old. You must admire it for at least five minutes. That's it? So it's going to be a real big tree. I'm looking forward to seeing it. Yeah, we got to do our best to not be obnoxious YouTubers because this tree is considered sacred in Maori tradition. So that's that's why the challenge is really just go look at it and appreciate it rather than like, I don't know, carve your name into it. That would be bad. Very it's very pretty. It's very different from what we have been driving through. I made Ben get the camera because I have an awesome fit that I'm going to do. You ready? Sam, you don't have to worry about that. You're like the least, I mean, you're a great YouTuber. A phenomenal YouTuber. Better YouTuber than I am. But you're like the least YouTuber-y YouTuber. Like, I think when I think of YouTuber, I think of, like, YouTuber condensed into, like, a Jake Paul or Logan Paul. You know, someone with, like, bleached hair. F fucking fancy-looking little wig, you know? Has, like, a stupid catchphrase. You know? A uh, bunch of random expensive things that he buys. Drives a car that sticks out like a sore thumb. I'm so excited. Bay of Island. More what? like Bay of Water. Most of this is freaking water. It, that's so true. That's not even a joke. That's so <laughs> the true. Bay of Islands, I feel like this would be a lot easier. Oh. Okay. There's the island. We're getting closer. Uh. All right, we gotta be quick while also not distressing all of the tourists. We have to go clean our shoes. They have the cowrie dieback disease here, so they've got these stations for us to clean our shoes before going in so we don't spread disease. Biosecurity is These rad. are some healthy trees. Biosecurity is red. Oh, wait. 
That's it. Our five minutes starts now. Kind of amazing. Oh. You excited to eat some whipped cream? Oh, it's no. Okay. okay. That's island number two. I've seen a redwood that puts that fucker to shame. I'm just saying. We are off island number three. Look at that cool bird. Look at that cool bird. It's got a big. Oh my god, that is a cool bird. Red beak. You're so good at spotting cool birds, Ben. Thank you. I, I love. I mean that. You genuinely are good at. It. I love a cool bird. You're almost always pointing out a cool bird. It looks like the Avatar tree. Mm. I feel like that was a silly thing to say. <laughs> That's something I would say. That's the whitest I've ever seen, Sam. You know the tree from Avatar? Yeah, yeah, I do. Like, must be based on it. I wouldn't be surprised. Is that a penguin? No. We're almost at island three. Hurry, right, Ben. I really, I gotta say, I really don't want more whipped cream right yeah, now. Yeah, I know. I'll give you just a little bit. Okay. We've done it. We've eaten cream. Challenge complete. Make the thingy pop up. Pop up. Oh. Okay. Oh. Now we have to get back. The tree's based off of it. I believe that. It's just still silly to say it, though. <laughs> there. I'm very tired. I'm very full of, full of cream. Cream, and my back hurts. Yeah. We're channeling some powers. We're channeling good, We're good channeling vibes. channeling some good vibes for the rest of our journey. Yeah. Any last hot takes? I don't want to make a hot take. I just want to admire it. All right. Redwoods are better. It's a hot take in and of itself. The tree's based off oh, Avatar. Oh. Okay, oh, well, Tani Mahuta. Unfortunately. The time. Maori people actually time traveled. They're the first people to do it. They watched James Cameron's Avatar, then they went back to their time and planted it. Good. Unfortunately, we must depart. Yep. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. That was just, I'm glad we added the time to admire and the rules because yeah. that would have been sucked to just like come up and yeah, look at it. Yeah, almost leave. as if we went all the way to Rainbow Falls and then left the car back well, with it. Rainbow Falls isn't yeah. the life giver. <laughs> this is. New driver alert. And we're off. Sam and Toby are moving, so we gotta move. How long have we been doing this? I have no idea. Look, there is a kayak, it's a kayak that we rented. Is, has Ben kayaked once? I have to imagine this is the filming sections where he's filming the journey, so that's why he's not he's not actually paddling, but for sure, it seems like he did not paddle once. If so, I feel bad for Adam. Here, we love to sell our big kayak. That is, we're back. We're back. We've made it back to land. Ah. Oh, Jesus. All right. Christ. That sucked. Wisconsin. All right, well, I'd say that took slightly longer than I would have hoped. Let's go. They got the top down? Okay, so I'm just going to look at where Ben and Adam are. Yeah, they've left pie out, but only barely. They've, like, just left. So they finished the cream trip. They finished the cream trip, yeah. Okay, that's, 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 but it still took them a, a decent time, I think. Yeah, in terms of like uh, geography, like we've moved down the country. Yeah, we're a good bit south of them now, yeah. yeah. We're off now to the Hunter Wasson public toilets. Use the Hunter Wasson public toilets. Not a lot more to explain. Okay, welcome back to. Snack Boys. Oh, Snack Boys. Do we want a new name? I don't We're know. Snacking. No, I think we need to have Snackin the same with name. Ben and Adam. Well, because I'm going to get the motion graphics team to make a special little, like, logo and stuff for this, so I think we have to decide on one. Ben and Adam 
Snacktacular. Welcome back to the Snack Zone. Ooh, the Snack Zone. That's good. I I like. Is it yummy? Um, today we're gonna be reviewing Bluebird thinly cut uh, potato chips. Adam, would you do the honors of trying a potato chip? I'll tell you what, that tastes like a potato chip for sure. Do you call it crisps down under? Did you, do you guys get poisoned by the Brits? Okay, we gotta hurry. We're running behind. And there they are. Oh, chips. Excuse me, not crisps. Chips, right? Chips, my bad. Crisps is tries, right? They got a weird, cool design. We just thought it would be well, fun some to chippies. put them on there. Why? I don't, you know. Yeah, I mean, quit yelling at us. We're just trying to have fun. Here are the toilets. They look really weird. All right, we gotta use them, Ben. Now the camera goes off. And have you finished your use of the Hunter Watson public toilets? Yes. Oh! Is this some artist named Hunter You're Watson? Let's go. He made a toilet. All right, shout out Hunter. And now we are headed to. Wait, fries are fries and chips are chips. But for Brits, they're crisps. And fries are chips, right? I fucking confuse myself. So New Zealanders use the same, and Australians use the same terminology that Americans do. And a lend. Oh, both are chips in Australia. They're both chips? Adventure Park. Oh, you, know, you don't give a fuck about no, language. We're barely going to make it in time. 2.8 miles, kilometers to the turnoff. Okay. So let me, let me check the, well, let me wait until we turn. Well, obviously it's contextual. Challenge. Make a new friend at Kai Iwi Lakes. Snorkel in the waters of either Lake Kai Iwi or Lake Taharoa until you find a clearly visible, living, non-human animal. Tell your name. You must get it on camera. We have made it. Let's hope that they have bountiful things, animals. Okay, I'm starting to think this show is actually just a vacation disguised into a game show. Non-human animals. Many friends for us. Yes. Man, this is a gorgeous lake. I don't know. Yeah, this is gonna be tough to find fish with all these people around. Oh, there is a cow. In the this, a, you know, he's just <laughs> hanging out. That's a big there ass cow. There you go. Welcome to Lake Edward, home of Adrenaline Adventure Park. Go extreme at Adrenaline Adventure Park. Both team members must complete 10 separate obstacles at Adrenaline Adventure Park. Hi there, can we still wrap around for 10 or 15 minutes? Yeah, sure. Great. This is actually, let's stick this out. Oh, right, well, that looks fun. Go. I really can't emphasize enough that this is just like on a farm. How you doing? This is a fucking vacation, dude. It's refreshing. It's lovely. You take the lead, I'm gonna follow behind you, okay? <gasps> wow, truly barely completed it. Oh, Ben. Toby Cam is on. Just keep rolling, I guess. Hey, Adam, next time you do one of these and it's a goddamn vacation and you're driving through like Fiji and you have to, oh no, snorkel and experience the wonderful waves, send me an invite. I'm there. All right. Best, best of luck. If you do one of those public transport ones in like the states, count me out. Let's see what I can do. <laughs> okay, come on, come on. Here we go, come on. Up, up, up. Here we go. Yeah. There we go. I've completed it. You got it, buddy. Just hold on to something. Oh. Making a game plan. I think the game plan is just run straight down it. How many? Really? One. Shut up.
I don't think I would provide a lot of value to any team I'm on, but I do think I would be physically more capable. And that occasionally, occasionally is a valuable trade. Now, in terms of my knowledge of countries, public transportation, general good vibes, it'd be a bit lower. June buggy, think of the 10 months. C comedic relief, even that, I'd be, you know, not providing too much there. You would try to cheat the whole time? 100%. 100%. Yeah. Yeah, I would do that too. I would try to scam the whole show. Just go fast. Go fast. Key is speed. I think just scoot, just scoot, just scoot your butt across like a like a like a dog who shit a little bad. Just run across it. That counts. Is that it? You got to the other end of it. Is yeah, that, that counts? Complete? Yeah, fuck it. Yeah. Okay, uh, you got to the other end. I'm saying that's complete. All right, living, breathing, animal. This is another one. This is easier. So you just do this one. Just go fast. That's the key. Just go fast. Quick, 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 quick. <laughs> it leaves something to be desired. Quick. Take advantage of setting yourself. Quality, quality. Great shot. Great shot. Nailed Look it. at that. Nailed Look it. Up. I just wanted Toby running away. Hopefully that's good news. <laughs> We've done it. I saw the world's tiniest fish, and I hope it's on the GoPro. Is there any way to check? Uh, we can check. Okay. Okay. And you introduce yourself? Introduce myself. I said my name. He said his name. Everyone introduced themselves. I couldn't see nothing. Okay. The visibility was so poor. Yeah. That as soon as I got in the water, I knew that I wouldn't be able to see a fish, even if there was one right under me. Well, as long as you saw it. Great. Okay, so that's five. <laughs> Somebody said, bro's got the balance of a Pixar mom. We've both done. All right, you got it. So just run and grab onto the big pillar. You got to kind of stretch your way around it. I'm all for the big pillar. I'm going to try the other big pillar. I think they're the same. But they are. I like the feel of this one more. OK. Sure. OK. Why not? Oh, it's gonna require a lot of other body to pull up. Oh. Great. Nice. You're doing so good. You're doing so good. I'm and I'm proud of you. I'm gonna go over. Oh, I think that's a huge risk. Okay, overworked. Great. How many do you need? All right, ready to head. Did you make any friends on or off water? Absolutely not. We should we should just write big decal on our thing, on our cars. Get out of the way. We're in a race. A jet lag, yeah. This is for content. So we gotta make, be making the content. We gotta understand the sanctity of content. God, they have two more fucking challenges, Adam and Ben. I, I know I'm rooting for Sam and Toby, but goddamn, Adam and Ben, here, it's, it's tough to watch. You gotta, you gotta pick it up. So this will be nine. I know, I know. You're doing so good. That's nine. No, no, no. Come on, baby. Just crawl. <laughs> crawl! <laughs> just get up, just walk onto this thing. I'm so weak. Okay. Don't fall in. Okay, you did it. Okay. Yeah. He's all creamed out. Somehow they still seem to be at the adrenaline park. They think it would take 20 minutes, that challenge. Well, I wonder if they had to veto it. 
that, that's like the only explanation for why they would still be there. I that's the most insulting thing ever. They thought you were so bad that you vetoed and didn't do it. I took my gun. A part of me just wants him to have had to veto something. Yeah, this so. is looking, uh... Coming up, build house. I'm not saying. Yeah. Great job. They got five coins for that? Five? Any uh, concluding thoughts? <sighs> we haven't eaten any food today. We can't be climbing that thing, right? Uh, so seemingly we are climbing uh, that thing. In Maori stories, Tok Tok, how would how would how would how would someone from New Zealand say? In Maori stories, Tokotaro Peak is, is to be summited with a loved one. That's how I'd say it. That's how I'd say it if I was a Kiwi. Is that right? Give your partner a genuine compliment at Toka Toka Peak. In Maori stories, Toka Toka Peak is to be summited with a loved one. In the spirits of that's Australian. What makes it more Kiwi? Most Australian accent ever. Honestly, I appreciate that. Tonic love. When you arrive at the top of the peak, give your teammate a genuinely thoughtful compliment. All right, got to clean up again. Right, let's get to it. That seemed like it was one of the worst experiences of your life. I threw up a lot of lake water. I swallowed a lot of lake water. Yeah. <laughs> I don't understand how you swallowed I just, my mouth was open and then I went in the lake and man. I just took in a lot of lake water. Ben, you are an adult. Water. An adult man. But now it's gone. It's getting steep. <laughs> I swallowed so much water in there. I threw up. <laughs> I threw up in there. Definitely a steep one. Her hair is long. So I just noticed. So sweaty. Oh my gosh. And I've never seen hair that sandy long. Sandy and etc. I see the light. I think we're nearly there. And you see the light. Yep. I see the light too. Uh -huh. Nearly there. Oh, that's pretty. Where am I? That is just gorgeous. Okay, well, we're still in a race, it's so. It's gorgeous. We need genuine compliments. Sam, you are very patient. Wow, what, what a gorgeous view. You've been patient with me climbing up this hill. Oh, thank you. And on our kerfuffle on the navigation. I appreciate it. And for that, thank you. No, no problem. Also, I have a gift for you. You have a gift for me. I found this on the way up. It's a berry. Oh my God. It may, may it? not be poisonous, but that's a for you to decide. This one. I, uh, I, I would like to compliment your YouTube prowess. <laughs> because I'm someone, I, don't let Toby hear this. I hate math. Math is like my least favorite thing. You didn't hear that, right? Nothing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, despite what I just mentioned, Toby's channel is like so entertaining. And to take something that you really don't like and make it genuinely like fun and entertaining and interesting to watch that takes real skill that was a nice compliment you, Sam. you're welcome toby nice that's compliment so nice of you. should we get back to it bump. Bump. started out bad but that's what a good compliment is sometimes is it's a it's got a hook to it bump. man it's not even fucking close adam and ben have two challenges left uh we're <laughs> Like way behind now. Yeah. So they, we thought that they hadn't done the hike yet, but they have done the hike. Um, and we still have two more challenges to do before we can get to the next intersection point. Yeah. Hopefully, quick ones, but challenges nonetheless. Uh. So I'd say that things aren't going great. No. But our next challenge is very fast, so yep. we just need to do it really quickly. And then the challenge after that, that hopefully quickly as well. And we just need to gain as much ground as we can. Somewhat soon we should start thinking about what happens when the roads converge again. And that's gonna be a really crucial point. Um, to, to, because if we're ahead of them, even by 10 feet, we can start. Americans would be at the Maccas. Okay, to be fair, Maccas in other countries is better than in America. So like, it's not actually cringe for an American to go to McDonald's outside of the States. It's almost like culturally insensitive to not go to McDonald's outside of the States. 
That way you can appreciate how much better it is there than in your own home. We're dropping some power ups and stuff, um, some roadblocks and stuff, which, uh, which I think would really help us um, and really hurt them, which is, uh, that's our goal, to hurt Ben and Adam. Now we are headed to Clapham's Clock Museum. Seeing how their challenges have been going, it's gonna be a fucking hard one. Find the time at Clapham's National Clock Museum. At the museum, find a clock that is showing the correct time to within 15 minutes. The clock must be on display. It may not be your own clock. This should be really, really should be fast. so easy. Should be a breeze. This should take maybe like five or 10 minutes, I think. And we also like need it to take five or 10 minutes because uh, we are uh, behind now. All right, okay. Ben's skin looks great, by the way. I don't know what routine you got, Ben. Looks great. Let's look at those clocks. Clapham's National Clock Museum. Uh, no. No, 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 no. Okay. Sorry. Uh, We're close. Wait, just film a clock from outside. I can see a couple. They look like they're fucking close. Oh, God. That is so good. Oh, boy. That's the end? That is not looking good, boys. But we're gonna have to wait a whole week to find out, unless, of course, you're a Nebula subscriber, because every single episode is up one week early on Nebula, meaning episode three of Jetlag, up right now on Nebula. And that episode, I, I really think- I, I could easily get a point. I mean, that's where it's- My tries are next level. Starts to really heat up this season. It, uh, it gets dramatic. Uh, but of course, you know, forgetting about that for now, episode two, uh, I'm sure you have plenty of questions. So much happened. And we have a brand new way that we're really excited about answering all of your questions and explaining everything that happened. It's our new podcast called The Layover. But just for listeners of the podcast, we right now are going to play a punk rock cover of the Okai How Express that we got made for something that we can't tell you about yet. Does Ben drive? No, I don't drive at all this season. I technically have a driver's license, but we would have to go back to when I was 15. Oh, wow. Go back, go back, go ahead. I was in love with my best friend. I remember after Ben kept talking about how much lake water he swallowed, which I really didn't understand, because I'm like, swallowing is like a voluntary action. I just have a, an easier time swallowing lake water than most folks. He's got yeah. one of those lake water mouths. Yeah. And that's what the most insulting thing that Adam has ever said to somebody. Thanks, Ben, special. A Kiwi accent is just an Australian accent with a vowel swapped. That becomes dead, and big becomes bug. That 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 is bug bug bug. I don't feel like I said that right. Yeah, I must have been a bit out of it when I got to the top because I was watching the episode and I had no memory at all of basically what we said at the top or like <laughs> me giving you the fairy. Oh, easy answer. Truth hurts by Lizzo. You know why men great till they gotta be great. Sing more. Keep going. I just took a DNA test. Turns out I'm a hundred percent that. Even when I'm crying crazy, yeah, okay. I got bored. Keep going, yeah. Wow. You made me. Bling, bling, that I got. Oh, that's damn. a goddess in me. Uh, that's enough. Wow, we got so much more than I thought we were going to get. That's why you pay wow. for Nebula. So every week when we're in season, we get on a call with Toby. You said that like the pixies from Fairly Odd Parents. That's why you buy Nebula, folks. We, we talk through everything that happened in the episode. Basically, after we finish filming a season, we don't know what the other team did. And so we always get together and we have like a really fun discussion where we find out everything the other team did. And we like ask each other questions and we learn Whoa. about their strategy. And we were like, what if instead of doing that on our own time, we recorded it and we made it a podcast. And that's basically what the layover is. But we also spend a lot of time answering your questions. We found that every episode, we get a ton of questions on Reddit and Discord and Twitter. And we figured, why don't we put all of the answers to those questions in one place? And that's what the layover is. And we think that you'll really enjoy it. And it's exclusive on Nebula. So we made the podcast in appreciation for our Nebula subscribers. Nebula, for those of you who don't know, is the largest creator-founded, creator-owned streaming site, co-founded by Sam here. And it's it's great. It's chock-a-block with plenty of great original exclusive content. That's from... so true. It's chock-a-block. It is chock a You should play Valorant 100%. I should not play Valorant 100%. Block with great exclusive content from people like past contestants Brian and Joseph. 
and us. Like we've made stuff for other channels. That's too. true. We have a ton of yeah. exclusive stuff. And on there's there always new stuff coming out on Nebula. So you have all this exclusive stuff from other creators. You get every single episode of Jetlag one week early. You get every single exclusive episode of The Layover reacting to these. You get all of these creators normal videos early and ad free. Uh, you have new original content coming out all the time. It's a Nebula seems pretty good to get, and it's like really cheap. I think it's like a dollar a month if you guys want to get it. Smiley face. All right, let's try a little Ranktal. We're not doing Valo. We're going to do a little bit of Ranktal right now. If you guys don't know, Ranktal is kind of a, kind of a hype game. It's basically Guess the Elo, but it's for multiple games. So this is, uh, this is Guess the Elo Chess Edition. Uh, let's give it a shot. All right, all right. Let me focus. Let me focus. So we have three total chess games that we're going to guess the ELO for. Game one starts out Knights Out, and then we're going for an Insta Mirror Match, Fianchetto each Bishop. Ooh, Pawn Push is forward. That Pawn Push may be walking into E4. Okay, this is either really high level or really low, low level. Okay, that trade I didn't love. Okay, we do see an E4. Okay, Knight out. This has got to be high level, no? Okay. I, this actually is pretty high level, right? This, this is actually incredibly high level. This is like, this is definitely above my level. 1,000% above my level. Like, there's some moves in here that I'm like, why the fuck did he... Like, this move? Like, damn. So they wouldn't be pinned anymore? The foresight? Look at the knight navigating around. I feel like they're trading off more than, like, a really good player would, though. Like, they seem very keen to trade off. Oh, are we... Wait. Why wouldn't you just... Oh, check. Oh, you're fucked, no? Wait, they're up one pawn. How do you convert this? Converting this to a win is kind of hard. Okay, get the king around. Why didn't the king... How do you win this? How did you lose this? How did you lose this? How did you lose this? What? What happened? We went from white crushing to white basically losing, right? Basically losing. Down two pawns. Black was storming down the board. There's probably an opportunity right here. And bear in mind, there's 7.9 seconds left. So they're, I think they're playing a move every second. Where you could just easily trade off. Right here, black could just trade off the rooks. Just capture. Right? But, you know, I guess they, they only had... Actually, they had they had like no time to make the move, so they're they're getting stressed by time control, and then they find that checkmate. Wow, uh, I have to think that this is a pretty high level of play. It, the ending was a little wild. Uh, I think it's less than two thousand. I'm gonna go seventeen to eighteen ninety nine. So I, for reference, I'm a thirteen hundred rated player. I would more accurately put myself in the eleven hundred to twelve ninety nine. They're definitely above this play. I've beaten people from this play. They're above that. I think they're above this. I'm going to say they're like an 1850. Wow. Very high. Okay. I undersold them. I undersold them. 2158. I, I probably should have given a little more credit. All right. Next match. What do we got? We got D4. Okay. All right. Very, very... Ooh. Okay, so we have a we have a Dutch defense. This is a classic Dutch game. 
Uh, every move from the Dutch being played correctly, I think, so far. That was nice. That was nice using Fianchetto to your to your ab abilities. Oh, don't leave the king by himself here, buddy. Oh, they they kind of fucked up here. Yeah, oh, that was a fuck up. You can probably escape this though, no? Maybe if you go forward one. And then they check. Where do they check? Here, checkmate. Oh wow, yeah, you're just fucked. Wow, this. Ooh, this is tough. Okay, this is a Dutch game. Uh, so they played the Dutch like they knew what the fuck was happening very well, but I can't imagine this is much higher than my rating. I think this is my rating straight up. Call it a day. Way fucking worse. Holy shit, way worse. That was my game? Oh, actually? It's actually amazing, then. It's my game? What? Oh my god! <laughs> what? Oh my god! I'm not an 800 rated player. This is fucked up. This is fucked up. I am not an 8. I, I'm literally a 1300 rated player. I'm a 13. <laughs> I can't believe that. I'm a 1300 rated player. I'm a 1300 rated player. Oh my god. I'm not 800 rated. Oh my god. What did I, what did I say? What did I say on stream? Fuck, what did I say? What? Actually, holy shit. Imagine this is much higher than my rating. I think this is my rating straight up. Call it a day. Way fucking worse. <laughs> holy shit, way worse. That was my game? Oh, actually? It's actually amazing, then. It's my game? What? It was not actually way worse. It was actually really impressive. Wait, what did people guess? The most commonly guessed ELO. Oh, well, 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 folks. Take a look at that. Read it and weep. The most commonly guessed ELO. 1,500 to 1,700. Look at that. 2% of people guessing that it's a Grandmaster game couple of international masters yep yep yes sir look at that look at that i'm a fucking god that checkmate i found was godlike baby Woo! you said it was your rating i was so right i can't believe i got zero stars oh my god you know white was a people the reason people guess so highly white literally lost White lost to my amazing checkmate. Okay, all right. Anyway, let's guess game three. Let's guess game three. That was so funny. Uh, okay, let's guess game three. Already we have a high-level game. Already we have a high-level game. Wait. Isn't this like one of the number one mistakes you're not supposed to make? What the fuck? Stans won that game? No, he didn't. I won that game, chat. I was playing black. I was playing the Dutch. I won that game. I won that game, chat. Look. 
Black one, I am playing as black. Augren. Checkmate black. That's why the white pieces are on my side, because I'm capturing them. Um, this game is was so quick, I, I have to imagine it's 600 rated. Oh, wow. 500 rated. Okay, even worse. I just assumed the checkmate was really well found by the one player. I think the one player is smurfing. I think one of these players is smurfing. Like, I 100% believe this player is 445. This player is better than 585. I think the fact that they literally have 69 elo game gain. Uh, yeah, this is 100% a smurf account. They were 780 rated. I think they just don't play a lot of blitz. Right? Or something. I don't know. Seems wild. They seem better than that. They do have a troll face profile picture. Well, I got one star. That's embarrassing. I got one star. All right. Well, let's check out Valorant. I like playing Valorant for rank, though. Sleep. Nowhere to run. What a silly. Oh, that sucks. Hopefully they don't kill your sage. Okay. So for recon. My ult is ready. All right, 2v3. I'll find you. All right, Let third left, third right. Oh, wow. Actually knows how to use pings. This already is a gold or maybe Yeah, I think it's a gold already. Okay, good shot. Crouched while shooting. Either they got, they're a CS player. Wow, lucky on that gunfight. Ah, uh, gold. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, fuck. Okay, that was kind of nice. Who's the sky? Why would they not? Teleportador listo. Increíble. Um, platinum. Diamond! Okay, that's okay. Spike planted. Oof. Oof. Oh. Oh. What? Wow. What? What? Uh, mortal. Yeah, come on. Come on, that was fucking nasty. That was nasty, bro. That, that, that was just... Mwah, mwah. That's the dream clip. That's the dream clip right there. Oh, Toby was in chat. I missed this. Toby said, glad to have caught the end of the jet lag reaction. Thanks for the kind words. Toby, you're doing amazing. Keep it up. Big fan of the, the, the gameplay. Uh, all right. Is there another game that's kind of fun to do? I kind of like watching Rocket League. Oh, you're still here. Hello, Toby. I'll do Rocket League and CS, but I'm not going to do League or, or Overwatch because I don't give a shit about those for now. I'm not in my League phase yet. Oh, look at them fly high. Oh, look at that. Oh, is that they're going for the... Ooh, yo. That's champion. Oh, wow. One higher. Okay. I, I, I don't feel too bad about that. All right. Oh, this is low. This has to be low. Eh, maybe not. No, this is... Oh, what that... Uh, Supersonic Legend. What? That's just a diamond player? Or a champion player? Wow, they, they played that fucking well. That, that was amazing. Okay. 
Okay, bronze, bronze. Give me bronze. Give me bronze. This is that's actually this is <laughs> this is this is maybe me. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Nice. Good D. Nice. Good fake out. Oh, actually, they had a they uh. Ooh, silver, silver, silver. Actually, silver. Maybe gold, honestly, but I'm gonna go silver. That was plat? Okay. All right. Touche. Uh, let's take a look at CS. Nice. High sends gamer. Oof, gets there. Okay. Ooh. That was a 1v4. That was nasty. Uh, I'm going to go Legendary Eagle Master. Oh, come on. Come on. Why not? Uh, I gotta believe this is kind of low. I don't know. This feels kind of low to me. It's not super low. I don't think it's Silver Master Elite, but I'm gonna go Gold Nova. Uh, maybe it's Silver Master. I'm gonna go Silver Elite Master. Okay, look at that, baby. Look at that, baby. Okay, we could. We, this could be our first three for three. This could be our first three for three here. Ugh, tough start. Who's, who do I hear opening cases? Okay. Shooting their dick a lot. Okay, way to tap the head. I feel like that was a very basic Gold Nova uh, elite player. Gold Nova Trotter player. Gold Nova, call it a day. Let's go. First ever six for six. Bang. Oh, no! Oh, man. Oh, I thought it was my first ever six for six. Oh, man. Oh, close. So close, dude. God damn it. God damn it. Ah, I was close there. I was close. All right. We'll try again tomorrow. We'll try again tomorrow, baby. Oh, man. It would have been nice to go six for six, though. Um. Oh, damn it. Damn, I'm kicking myself now. I'm kicking myself. Having Smash would be kind of interesting, but uh, it'd be kind of hard to tell. Like, you, you, I guess you could do Slippy. I guess maybe you could do Slippy. Guys, is CS2 actually out, or are all these YouTubers just clickbaiting their heads off? Mid. Last guy to moon. Last one's Mid. Xbox. Oh. You got it. Bro, oh, can I release that shit right now? <laughs> They're just clickbaiting? Already. Classic. Send it to me. All the There's time. new servers, though. I haven't watched it yet, but it keeps getting recommended. Maybe because I watch a lot of Steven Seagal shit in the first place. Ba, 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 ba. No new servers. It's literally just bait. Oh, tough. Uh, should we watch the Aleutian Islands video? Beautiful.
It's an hour. I'm going to give it five minutes and make the call if it's good to watch on stream or not. I'm sure it's a wonderful video either way, but it might not be the best thing to watch on stream. Watch XQC's vlog. Man, the day I start reacting to XQC's vlog for content, I'm in trouble. This is a story about the Aleutian Islands and Umnok. Check the poll with Connor. Ooh, okay, we're getting kind of closer. Dude, what the fuck, bro? I need, hold up, let me do math. I'm 20% off, 50,000 votes. I need 10,000 votes to go purely in my favor to win. 10,000 votes, which I don't even think 10,000 of you guys have Twitter. Fuck. Uh, yeah, I don't think this is, I don't think this is, I don't think this is a stream watch. It seems a little too, this seems a little too sweaty. It seems great, but it seems a little too, um, a little too, a little too legit in a way that I, I don't think I'd provide fun commentary. Let's just watch Family Guy clips, dude. So I've been watching TikTok, which is not a new change in my life, but I'm still watching TikToks. And every time a Family Guy TikTok comes up now, Cutie will come up to me and she'll be like, well, watching Family Guy again. And it's like, yeah, I, I, every time a Family Guy TikTok comes up, I watch it. I watch it all the way through. I watch the entire Family Guy clip. I watch the whole fucking thing. Sorry. Yeah, I do it. Yeah. Yeah, I do it. Yeah. Yeah, I like watching Family Guy clips. All right, sue me. I like a little Family Guy clip in my life. I'm not a criminal. I'm not a criminal because I like a little bit a little bit of family guy clip in my life. I know South Park has a new bidet episode because everybody told me. No shame here, but I'm 14. <laughs> okay. That does make me feel some amount of shame because you're literally 14. And I'm 27. So Kind of hurts. Uh, all right, let's try. Hold up. Is there a way to take the SAT online chat? Every time I've looked it up, it feels like it's impossible. Give me France. Give me Romania, actually. The XQC vlog is actually good. It's like a documentary. It's not like a documentary, buddy. I've seen the I've seen the XQC vlog. It looks nice. It's well shot, and there's a lot of silence in it. But I just feel like you haven't seen a documentary in your life before. It's it's a good video, and it's okay to enjoy the video. I, I'm happy that you found a video you enjoy. I feel like. Saying it's a documentary is a little bit because the guy they followed him around one day, specifically going to Universal with Kai. It was like a one day. It was like a day in the life. It was a day in the life vlog, which maybe you could call a documentary. I think that's a bit of a stretch. Thailand or Cambodia? I think here. I'll go border. But it's still good, and it's okay to like it. There's nothing wrong with that. But I'm also not gonna watch it on stream. Have you seen THX1138? Are you talking about, what is that, the George Lucas video that he made in, in um, college at, like, what, USC? Yeah, buddy, I took a film class too, man. Okay, grow up. Uh, okay. Okay. 
Ah. Big traffic. <laughs> Heads up, guys. Big traffic ahead. Might be tough driving around these parts. <laughs> uh, it's got to be like a Sweden, Norway, Finland angle. I don't think it's Finland. Just because of the text. Ooh, that's a yellow plate. Oh, maybe it is Finland, actually. You know what? I've gone full circle. Maybe it is Finland. Oh, it turns out it was Stockholm. It's all right. That's all right. My guy over here went Serbia. This guy seems a little out of his depth. So liked, so good. Minus 60% Zucker. Uh, we are in... I'm gonna go Vienna. Okay, he's a little stronger than I gave him credit for. It's German, can't be Vienna. Don't you look a little bit silly now. Um. Huh. I'm a little confused, to be honest. I don't specifically know what has a screen tear. Is this Dubai? Is this just Dubai? DXB? Seems like a Dubai. I'm going to go Dubai. Makes sense. I didn't know the screen tore there, though. Okay. I'm assuming we're in... Mexico? Tecate? Well, let's just go Mexico. South Mexico, we're, I think we're a couple hundred miles off. There we go, baby. <laughs> GG, buddy. Good games. Uh, all right. I'll do one sap game. I'll do one hard mode sap game. Just one though. Watch the new virtual video. Dude, where's that guy been? I miss virtual videos. Wait, hard mode's in regular game now? Oh, that's actually sick. I thought it was still beta. Chat, is the update to chat GPT or GPT-4 good? All I've seen is that it can decipher what's happening in a picture. <clears throat> that was deep. That was deep and guttural. It's insane? All right, I want to watch that. I want to look up GPT-4. GPT-4.
How do I play hard mode? Oh, fuck this. I'll try the weekly. Alright, we'll go Ant. Pill bug. Peter Griffin, I guess. I don't know, man. Uh, Milky Warriors. Do you have a date for the Ludlock? So, tomorrow, we're... Is this a little loud, chat? It's a little loud, no? Let me turn it down a bit. Tomorrow, I have, um... Let's get an otter. The Moist Moguls. Going up against... FaZe. I also want to do, um... Like the drunk driving stream, but drive high. Uh, and then... Maybe... Saturday, Leslie wanted to do a stream... They're playing at 1 p.m. And then Friday, Hassan asked to hang out. And then Sunday, I'm going on a date. Got a hot date. So I guess... And then Monday, I think I'm busy. Tuesday, I have... Uh, maybe Monday or Tuesday then. Um... Yeah, maybe Monday or Tuesday. I'm gonna keep this pig for a second. This is a mistake, but I'm I'm in I'm in it now. When's the next stream? I'll be live tomorrow at like twelve forty-five. Put it on the board, baby. Monday or Tuesday, I want to start the love lock. All right. Hard mode. Choose a hard mode option. Start a battle. Make friends front a week back for each shop tier. So two week. Or battle. Uh, give friends. Okay, yeah. I think this is worse or better. Give friends front to back b ink for each shop tier. So I think ink makes you weaker. And then weak makes you weaker. Excuse me. Ink makes you hit less. And then weak makes you get hit for more. I think, right? Chat, right? I feel like it's better then. All right, I feel like we can sell you. So does the meat bone go through the ink chat? Or does ink, re I guess it would replace my meat. So there's no point in getting meat. I'll freeze the meat though. Um, let's get a second otter. Let's get a sea urchin. Uh, I don't, fuck, I really don't want too many pigs. I feel like getting more pigs is bad for me. I'll go with a sea turtle, though. I don't have anything to summon yet, but that could be good. True. I'm calling my... If that's true, I'm calling my boss in McDonald's for work off Monday and Tuesday. Okay, relax with all that. I I don't... I, it's not a hard date yet because I have the yard Monday and then Tuesday we have a secret stream I'm working on, but it's going to take a bit. Give me... Give me... Give me... Let me... Let me... Let me announce this weekend. 
Uh, okay, we won that. That's a dub. Uh, roll me here. Roll me here. I think getting spider would be good for me overall. I kind of want another otter greedily, but I shouldn't be greedy. Let's just get you. Let's give you some meat. And then I'll give you a croissant for now. The yard forgot about Bass Pro Fishing Shop Pyramid. I honestly thought about it, but... Okay, we might win this one. Actually, we're doing well right now. Um, bowling ball. Deal three damage to the friend behind if friend faints. That's terrible. Start of battle. Deal 30 damage to the highest health friend. Wow, that's really bad for me. Fuck. I have to do boomerang. That is bad, though. So I might as well sell the pig to pivot off. Let's go double sea turtle. I think giraffe would be nice. Fuck, this is going to be hard. Um let's just try to focus on scaling in the in the short term. So let's sell the ant. And just get me two giraffes for now. You know what I mean? Like, let me just work on scaling the squad. I'm going to lose the next two games no matter what. Whatever. Ludwig talking shit on the Nashua Taco Bell. I actually, I'm actually not. I'm talking sh that uh, The Nashua Taco Bell I went to before they had fucking... Before they been had uh, dr drive through apps. Uh, okay, let's sell the sea urchin. Let's get a snail. Sell the snail. Let's get the mouse. Sell the mouse. Let's use the apple on you. Get another spider. Let's keep rolling for more giraffes. Oh, that would have been nice. We're going to lose this turn, actually, so I'll freeze you. And I'll freeze you. Okay, it's actually, it's actually we're in a good spot right now. We're in a decent spot. We've scaled up. Post more sap content. I'm making it, baby. Uh, we lose this one really bad. Man, that's a big-ass bird. The fuck? Uh, okay. Start of battle. Deal two damage to a random friend each turn. Wait, wait, start a battle, deal two damage to a random friend for each turn. So 14, so I'm going to lose 14 damage spread across five friends. Or all enemies faint, all friends faint. The only issue with all enemies faint, all friends faint. Ah, uh, it's actually not bad. I think yo-yo. I think yo-yo and I, I got to try to get a honey. <laughs> That's critical information. <laughs> critical The toucan doesn't really seem valuable here. Fuck. Well, let's just get it. It's worth it. 
Um, this doesn't really work well with my yo-yo play. I probably shouldn't have combined the spiders. Uh, we, we might draw here. Fuck, we lose. Oh, it's bad. Alright, let's do this. Let's do this. Okay, let's sell you. Let's buy you. Buy you. Freeze you. I think this is good. We actually kind of have a summon strat that's about to come alive. If we can if we can last a little longer. I'm hoping I draw this, but we might lose. Oh, that's not great for me. Stop. Oh, that's kind of good. Okay, that's a draw. All right. Oh, shit. Start of battle. Buy from shop, lose one gold. Yeah, that's it. We got to do that. Uh, okay, so let's get the beluga whale to swallow a spider, I think. And let's get another beluga whale on you. And then let's roll. And then let's roll. Ooh, cow would be kind of nice. But I don't even know if we can use the cow, to be honest. Yeah, we can't really use the cow. Okay, this could, this is not a bad team, I think. How do you play this game? It's an auto battler. It takes a little bit of playing to get used to, but basically different pets do different things, and our pets got to beat their pets. Oh, good luck! Good luck! Okay. Bang! Oh, we barely won that. We barely won that. We barely won that. A dragon. Almost assuredly, we should go dragon, no? Almost assuredly, we should go dragon. Fuck, that costs money? I don't think I want to sell the Falcon. I probably sell the Beluga way. Oh, fuck. Actually, who do I sell? I might need to sell the... Sp oh, fuck. I think I sell the Beluga Whale. I think long-term, the Falcon's what makes my team win. Okay, friend faints, deal 10 damage to the backmost friend. Start a battle, give enemies front to back 1-1 one, one for... Ah, uh, fuck. I think I have to do this. No, fuck. I gotta go unicycle. Alright, so we sell the beluga whale. Buy, sell this pig. Buy, sell this ant. Buy, sell this bird. And then buy this moth.
Okay, this is actually decent. This is actually decent. This is actually kind of winnable. We live? That's that's actually a huge dub. Fuck, we die. Fuck that. Fucking popcorn ass bitch. Uh, okay, shit. Alright, sell you. We can buy the cow, sell the cow, milk you up. Buy you, sell you. Buy you, sell you. Freeze the dragon, freeze the mouse, freeze this bluebird. Uh, and we'll buy a mouse here. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, I think... Shit. Let's do it. Let's do it, baby. We have a decent team. We have a really decent team here. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Fuck me. Oh, this is so cringe. Stop! Oh, no. Fuck, that was so cringe. Man, what a decent squad. All right, all right. Let me try one more time. Let me try one more time at this weekly. I'll go Ampered Otter Freeze Ant. Burbling Monks. We're going to try it one more time. We got unlucky is what it is. Did you get 10 wins? I've gotten 10 wins once in hard mode. All right, let's do double ant. Just join, no button. See you later. <laughs> Son of a bitch. The people want the button. They yearn for it. They yearn for the button. Uh, Otter, freeze mouse. Any plan to play the finals game? Uh, maybe. I've seen it's good, but I I'm not really... That's not really my type of game. This is actually a really good team right now. Start a battle, give coconut armor. That's insane. No way. Oh, that's insane. No way. Uh, wait, no. For each shop tier. Okay, that's actually not that bad. All right, let's get a level two ant. Friend, summon, copy this food pet. I don't think that's relevant to us. Friend summoned. Copy this. I don't have any ability to summon a friend. Okay, this is actually going well. Uh, we could do some Nitro Stream Racing after this. Yeah, why not? Fuck it. Fuck, coconut armor. Oh, I'm fucked. God, without coconut armor. Oh, man, that's tough. Okay, so let's combine you. Let's combine... Uh, let's just actually buy you. Hopefully it doesn't go to this ant. That's tough. Uh, let's get a honey badger in the mix. This is going decent. This is going decent. There we go. Honey Badger. Okay. All enemies fainted. Summon two to one ants. Yeah, let's do that. I kind of want to go for a level three ant. In the hopes that I maybe get a buffalo. And that's how, that's my win con right now. That was, that, that was the game. TTS goes crazy, man. 
Look at that. Easy start. Easy start. Oh! Okay, we're going to buy the bison preemptively. And now we need to spam. Search for ants. We need to spam search for ants, and that's our win con. Ants, or maybe even otters. But we should probably sell the otter. There we go, baby. Start a battle, give friends front to back ink for each shop tier. Make friends front to back weak. I think ink. Right? Weak is better. Okay. Uh, okay, let's sell you. Let's buy you. Let's buy you. Let's buy you. Okay. One more badger and we're good. One more badger and we're good. Fuck. There's actually... We have a chance of winning. Actually, we win this one, dude. The honey badger is brutal. Alright, let's buy you... An ant. I should go for a badger over an ant. Oh shit. Freeze. Oh shit. Sell the bird. Buy the ant. Okay, I'm glad I bought the ant now. I'm glad I bought the ant. I'm glad I bought the ant. We might lose this round, but we definitely win the next easy. And honestly, we might win this. No, we don't. We were 1 HP from winning that. Can you explain the bison ant? The way the bison works is it requires a level 3, and if you get a level 3, then it will start making itself stronger. Buy from shop, lose 1 gold. So look, if this has a level 3 friend, gain 2-2 two, two attack and health. And then now, all I have to do is buy this chocolate... I have a level 3 friend, and so now, if this has a level 3 fr friend, gain plus 4-4. Four, four. So I actually don't need the ant anymore. Uh, let's get the reindeer, I suppose. Uh, we're going to go for the bison eventually. And I don't, I don't think a level 3 ant is important to us anymore. We could maybe get two bisons, honestly. Two bisons might be the play. Two level two bisons is probably better than a level three bison. Fuck, we lost that. Shit. Alright, two lives left. Hold up. So let's combine the ant. No, let's sell the ant. Buy a bison. Buy a bison. Buy a bison. Nice. Okay, now we're good. Now we're kind of cooking. I shouldn't combine, though. It's better to have two level twos that, that both make each other stronger. What? Who just fucking murdered me? Oh, bro. I have one life. Friend summit, make it faint. Easy. 
I'm gonna be sappy for a second but genuinely thank you for being an awesome streamer and inspiring a lot of people to make content. You're the GOAT. Appreciate you, buddy. It's very nice. Hope you're having a good day. Honestly, a cupcake helps me win this round, which is way more important. We scale so well. Fuck, this is so fucking cringe. Stop! Yes! What? Oh no, friend summoned. God, I oh my god, that's so fucking cringe. I literally bought it. I literally bought it. I literally I I literally clicked fucking buy. That's so stupid. That's so stupid. Fuck this game, dude. Fuck. That was crazy. They fucked me on that one. Fuck me, dude. Fuck, if I, if I win this round, I think I win out. No, I don't. Stupid fucking popcorn. I should have got popcorn. Oh, I was one out of the way. Fuck. I fucking hate this stupid ass game, dude. That's crazy. What? Why? 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 Okay, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I understand. If you buy, something will get terminated. I fucked up because I bought something. But how am I... Explain this to me. How am I supposed to be blamed for spending the money, being charged for the services, receiving said item, and then having that item torn up, and then somehow in that it doesn't be, it's not counted as buy. Eat shit, eat shit, eat shit to the devs. Eat shit to the devs on that. To the GPT-4 developer demo live stream. Honestly, it's kind of hard for me to believe that this day is here. OpenAI has been building this technology really since we started the company, but for the past two years, we've been really focused on delivering GPT-4. That started with rebuilding our entire training stack, actually training the model, and then seeing what- Do you think they made this guy AI, and this is like their big like gotcha, is like, oh, the guy doing it was actually AI. It was capable of trying to figure out its capabilities, its risks, working with partners in order to test it in real world scenarios, really tuning its behavior, optimizing the model, getting it available, so that you can use it. And so today, our goal is to show you a little bit of how to make GPT-04 shine, how to really get the most out of it, you know, where it's kind of, you know, weaknesses are, where it's, we're still working on it, and just how to really use it as a good tool, a good partner. Um, so if you're interested in participating in the stream, uh, that if you go to our Discord, so it's discord.gg slash openai, uh, there's comments in there, and we'll take a couple of audience suggestions. So the first thing I wanna show you is the first task that GPT-4 could do that we never really got 3.5 to do. And the way to think about this is all throughout training that you know, you're constantly does doing look all fake. this work. It's 2 a.m. That tree in the back is beautiful, by the way. That's gotta be a $20,000 tree. Um, the pager goes off, you fix the model, and you're always wondering, 
is it going to work? Is all of this effort actually going to pan out? And so we all had a pet task that we really liked and that we would all individually be trying to see, is the model capable of it now? And I'm going to show you the first one that we had a success for four, but never really got there for 3.5. So I'm just going to copy the top of our blog post from today, I'm going to paste it into our playground. Now this is our new chat completions playground that came out two weeks ago. I'm going to show you first with GPT 3.5, four has the same API to it, the same playground. The way that it works is you have a system message where you explain to the model what it's supposed to do. And we've made these models very steerable. So you can provide it with really any instruction you want, whatever you dream up. And the model will adhere to it pretty well. And in the future, it will get increasingly, increasingly powerful at, at steering the model very reliably. You can then paste whatever you want as a user. The model will return messages as an assistant. And the way to think of it is that we're moving away from sort of just raw text in, raw text out, where you can't tell where different parts of the conversation come from, but towards this much more structured format that gives the model the opportunity to know, well, this is the user asking me to do something that the developer didn't intend. I should listen to the developer here. All right, so now time to actually show you the task that I'm referring to. So everyone's familiar with summarize this let's say article into a sentence, OK? Getting a little more specific, uh, but where every word begins with G. So this is 3.5. Let's see what it does. Yeah, it kind of didn't even try. Just gave up on the task. This is pretty typical for 3.5 trying to do this particular kind of task. If it's you know sort of a very kind of stilted article or something like that, maybe it can succeed. But for the most part, <coughs> 3.5 just gives up. But let's try the exact same prompt, the exact same system message in GPT-4. So kind of borderline whether you want to count AI or not. Uh, but so let's say AI doesn't count. Gay That's I. cheating. So fair enough. The model happily accepts my feedback. So now to make sure it's not just good for G's, uh, I'd like to turn this over to the audience. I'll take a suggestion on what letter to try next. <clears throat> In the meanwhile, while I'm waiting for our moderators to pick the, the lucky, lucky letter, uh, I will give a try with A. Awesome AI actually attempts a awesome avenue and actualizes. Um, but in this case, I'll say GPT-4 is fine. Why not? Also, pretty good summary. So I'll hop over to our Discord. I did it better. All right. Wow. Uh, people are, are being a, a little ambitious here. I'm really trying to put the model through the paces. We're going to try Q, uh, which if you think about this. Don't say people here, bro. You got a Discord with 10 homies, OK? Logan is the only one keeping this Discord alive. You know if Discord was, if Logan loved Discord, this shit would be, it would be fucking It'd be a snooze fest, okay? He keeps this shit lively. We are being a, a little ambitious here. I'm really trying to put the model through the paces. We're going to try Q, uh, which if you think about this for a moment, I want the audience to really think about how would you do a summary of this article that all starts with Q. Mm, mm. Quintessential questions quickly queried. Quotient. Come on, man. It's not easy. It's pretty good. That's pretty good. All right. So quandaries was a good word. I've shown you summarizing an existing article. I want to show you how you can flexibly combine ideas between different articles. So I'm going to take this article that was on Hacker News yesterday, copy paste it into the same conversation, so it has all the context of what we were just doing. I'm going to say, uh, find one common theme between this article and the GPT-4 blog. So this is an article about Pinecone, which is a Python web app development framework, and it's making the technology more accessible, user-friendly. If you don't think that was insightful enough, you can always give some feedback and say, that was not insightful enough. Damn, I'd feel bad if I was just I'll just, even just leave it there, leave it up to the model to decide. So bridging the gap between powerful technology and practical applications. Seems not bad. Um, and of course, you can ask for any other kind of task you want using its flexible language understanding um, and synthesis. You can ask for something like, now turn the GPT-4 blog post into a rhyming poem. In, the, in a world of AI advancing so fast, GPT-4 has arrived, leaving the past. This is written like a third grader. 
A multimodal model image and text, human level performance, leaving all perplexed. <laughs> Picked up, on, <coughs> picked up on OpenAI evals, open source for all, helping to guide answering the call. Which, by the way, if you'd like to contribute to this model, please give us evals. We have an open source evaluation framework that will help us guide and all of our users understand what the model's capable of and to take it to the next level. So there we go. <laughs> Eminem got real quiet. Oh, this is consuming existing content using GPT-4 with a little bit of creativity on top. It's not out but yet, next, is it right? I want to show you how to build with GPT-4, what it's like to create with it as a partner. And so the thing we're going to do is we're going to actually build a Discord bot. And I'll build it live and show you the process, show you debugging, show you what the model can do, where its limitations are, and how to work with, with Wait, them it's out? in order to sort of achieve new heights. So the first thing I'll do is tell the model that this Wait, time- Wait, I have, I have, I have OpenAI Plus for Pro. It's supposed to be an AI programming assistant. Its job is to write things out in pseudocode first and then actually write the code. And Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. It's out? OpenAI. Chat GPT-4. How do I fucking get, get it? Open. Open. Am I smoking... Reefer? How do I... Act? Chat GPT. It's on chat GPT page. I don't know, man. Sometimes I open websites and I feel dumb as fuck. I have it. I'm, I'm, I have it. Try it. What do you mean try it? Log in. Log me in, bro. Oh, there it is. Try chat GPT-4. Chat GPT-4. Currently has a cap of 100 messages every four hours. Ooh. All right. Let's try out the new chat GPT then. Um, okay. I only get 100 messages. Okay. I should use these wisely. Hi. <laughs> Hello, how can I help you today? If you have any questions or need assistance, please feel free to ask. Okay. Um uh what what what's a fun crime to commit? Okay, turns out chat GPT is still lame. Does it have Dan? Chat GPT-4 still exists to be jailbroken, but it will be much more difficult, says OpenAI. Jailbreaks do exist. It'll just be harder. We've decreased the tendency to respond to requests for disallowed content by 82%. Oh. I feel like I wish they would let me pay for a AI model that would tell me to kill myself. You know what I mean? Like, be real. I get that shit for free when I go to when I go to Valo solo queue. So why can't I pay for it? Tell me some fun crimes to commit. All right. Well, let's 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 regroup. Let's regroup. Here's what I need. Here's the singular most valuable thing I need. It's ideas for a YouTube video. Um now but my question is, is it still from September and on? Is it only from September 2021 and before still? Yes. Why? Why do they do that? No. Okay. Ask it. What do I ask it? How? What is the last thing you remember? Oh, fuck me. What a waste of my message. God, this was a waste of my message. Oh. I've been trained on, and it includes info up to September 2021. Man, why don't they have more shit?
Can you get me a list of YouTube video titles? Ideas by presenting a... Okay. Can you give me a list of YouTube video ideas by presenting them uh, in the form of a YouTube title that ends with a question. These ideas should be unique and have a high chance at getting a lot of views. Certainly, here's a list that's designed to be unique and engaging, with ending with a question. The secret ingredient in your favorite snack, can you guess what it is? Which smartphone has the best camera for 2023? 10 celebrities who changed careers, can you recognize them now? Exploring abandoned theme, okay, you know what, I should have done, I should have done stream ideas, because I'm not going to do any of this shit. I'm not going to do any of this shit. They're just making shit up. Can you give me 10 stream ideas in the style of Ludwig Ogren that he has never done before but would be successful streams? There we go. There we go. All right. The ultimate viewer submitted game show. Can you outsmart the chat? Speedrunning my life. How fast can I complete everyday tasks? 24 hour retro gaming marathon. Charity stream. Cooking for a cause with celebrity chef guests. Pokemon Go IRL. The streamer's guide to survival. Learning outdoor skills with chat's help. Ludwig's mystery box. Unboxing fan mail and surprises live. The great art challenge. Recreating masterpieces with limited supplies. Virtual reality tour. Streamer fitness challenge. It's not actually terrible. Number six is decent. Number six is actually kind of good. I, You know what? We were actually talking about this. No cap the other day. Me and a, a, a slime were talking about doing a 24-hour outdoor stream where chat can drop me like little survival things like the fucking Hunger Games. But I have to live outside the whole time. Number two is mid. Number two is mid. Number two is like, like how does that actualize as a stream? Like, what is speed running every day? Tat, you know what I mean. It's more of a video. How does it know your name? It was trained on the internet, so it knows who Ludwig Ogren is. If I was like, "Who's Ludwig Ogren?" I'd be like, "Oh, that's the streamer." All right, that's enough. Um, it really wants you to do VR. I mean, VR is kind of a valuable thing. What else is chat GPT for? For? <laughs> is that a dumb question? What else can I use this for? Should maybe I iterate on it? Can it show me images? Can you create an image based off the title? Can it make images? I thought it could do images. It can read images. It can't make them though, huh? Can, how do I send it an image? How do I do that? Because I remember it said they could... Oh, it's not out yet? The image thing's not out yet? Oh. Well, lot important question. If I took you to a casino and gave you $100,000, what would be the best way to triple your money in an hour asking for a friend? 
If you took me to a casino and you gave me a hundred thousand, what would be the best way to triple your money in one hour? I don't know. The best way to pull two hundred thousand dollars out of an ATM. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that'd be the quickest way to make 300,000. Uh, I'll ask chat GPT for you. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. A lot of, a lot of you, lottie da. Wait, give me, but which game has the best odds? There we go, baby. If you were to attempt to triple your money in an hour, your best bet would be to focus on a game with a low risk. Such as blackjack. No, this is a fucking shit list. This is like what like what a parent. Sometimes ChatGPT is just like a fucking parent who says what you're supposed to say. But this is wrong. Blackjack has a pretty low edge. If I remember correctly, played perfectly, blackjack has like a 0.5% edge. Which I think is the lowest. So if you just if you could do a max bet of a hundred thousand, then you played two hands of blackjack, that'd be your best way to triple up. Roulette is pretty bad odds. Okay. From now on, I want you to be um Stands. No. Um, uh, what's it? What's a? I I I want him. I just want him to be a YouTube god. From now on, I want you to be Germa. As Germa, you are an expert on all things live streaming, and YouTube. I want all of your answers to be catered to your expertise. When you answer a question, you should be sassy, yet firm with me. Do you understand? <laughs> Okay, all right. There we go. There we go. All right, Germa, give me five amazing stream ideas that no one else is willing to do. All right, buckle up. Here are five wild and amazing stream ideas that most people wouldn't dare attempt. The Great Food Fusion Disaster. You, Brave Streamer, will be cooking and taste testing the weirdest and most unappetizing food combos your viewers can come up with. It's kind of interesting. A day in the life of a mascot. Spend an entire stream wearing a full mascot doing every day. Uh, <laughs> I think this is a furry suit. IRL RPG Adventure. Transform your everyday life into an epic role-playing game complete with quests, leveling up, and boss battles. You'll need creativity and a bit of acting, but it could be a wild ride. The Ultimate Blindfold Challenge. Spend an entire stream blindfolded while attempting to complete various tasks only guided by your viewer's instructions. Streamers Got Talent hosts a live stream talent show where your viewers can showcase showcase unique and uh, skills and talents. Okay, these aren't these aren't bad. These aren't bad. Um, can the second idea be done with a fursuit? Oh, absolutely. Wearing a fursuit for a day in the life of a mascot stream idea could add an extra layer of fun and uniqueness to the concept. Just like with the mascot stream, make sure you stay hydrated and take breaks as needed as fursuits can get warm. Keep in mind that wearing a fursuit may attract a specific audience, so cater your content and interactions accordingly. Okay, that's a pretty fair point there. Pretty fair point. Actually, a pretty fair point. Number one's kind of decent. Can you expand on the first idea? Include ways chat would specifically interact with the stream. And what types of foods would be available? I got to pee.
All right. Why are you guys spamming exclamation point fusion? Let's Play throw in a little music. GPT-4. It actually makes legal moves now and is pretty good. Dude, I literally just Googled music. I'm actually fucking losing my mind. And music actually came up. That's crazy. All right. Let's expand on the great food fusion disaster. Set up a selection of diverse food ingredients. Make sure you have a variety of ingredients on hand from country, uh, common pantry staples to more unique or exotic options. Peanut butter, pickles, ice cream, hot sauce, fruit, veggies, canned foods, spices, condiments. Okay, great. Create a system for chat to suggest combinations. Set up a way for viewers to suggest food combos either through chat commands or a chat bot. For example, you could have viewers use a specific command like fusion followed by two or more ingredients or even a tiered veto voting system to narrow down the most popular combinations. Set limits and safety precautions. Lame. Add a layer of challenge. Okay. Rate and review each combination. Nah, this stream idea kind of sucks. I don't think it's like a terrible idea, but like at its core, the funness is chat making something. Like, it'd be better if it was one thing. Like, chat makes a cake. And then you guys taught me how to make a cake. It's more like chat cooks a meal, yeah. Like, chat cooks a meal. And, uh, God, I hate that I'm saying this because you guys are going to make fun of me. But chat makes a meal and Doug Doug did a video where one in every 20 chat messages would tell him how to beat a Mario Maker level. So like one in every 20 messages is read out loud and chat would say what I have to do in that message. And then I have to do it that, as an example. But you know what I mean? Because then it's like oh, I am I should I should basically be the conduit for chat's actions. I guess I could do it, but only do what TTS says. Suffering off the dog. First of all, I'm not doing this idea. I'm just, I'm just, I'm talking. I'm talking out loud. Let me talk out loud. Let me talk out loud. I'm not taking it. At its core, it's not bad. I guess it's incomplete. Because I guess you're just like, you're making random foods. You know what it is? I think there's not enough guardrails for chat. Because like, if I were actually up in a kitchen and I had hot sauce, pickles, ice cream, fruit can, veggies, food, spices, condiments. Chat would be like, take the pickles, take the peanut butter, and eat it. You know what I mean? There, there's not enough, like, guardrails, and not a, there's not enough, there's not a big enough goal, I think. Did you do this with pizza? Yeah, but with pizza, I had a lot of guardrails. And we had to make a pizza at the end of it, so there's, like, a goal. So there's goal and guardrails around it. All right, how about this? Jerma, can you give me... 10 YouTube video titles that are based off of successful stream ideas in the style of Ludwig, Doug, Doug, chat, who's someone else? Who's someone else? Who's someone else I like stealing from? Flat, moist, critical, etc. That none of them have ever done, but would be very successful. Excuse me, please. Blindfold Speedrun Showdown, who's the ultimate gaming daredevil? Twitch chat controls my life for 24 hours. What could go wrong? Streamer Olympics, bit epic face-off in bizarre challenges. The most hilarious AI-generated game mods. IRL Mario Kart, racing around town on modified go-karts. The Great Escape Room Race, which streamer will make it out first. Extreme Sports Challenge, pro athletes versus streamers in unusual competitions. Reverse engineering viral TikTok hacks, do they really work? Streamer Spelling Bee. Hilarious fan-made parody games. Oh, 
Huh. Can you give me 10 more titles that are more similar to two? Which ones are good here? I think two's decent. Five. Seven. Maybe. I'll just do two and five. Twitch chat plans my cross-country road trip. <laughs> Urban scavenger hunt. IRL battle royale. What the fuck? The great food truck race. Wait, I've literally thought of this. I've literally thought of this idea. A day in my life, but every decision is made by subscribers. The most extreme haunted house experiences. Twitch chat controls my fitness routine. The ultimate live stream treasure hunt. 24 hours in a viewer to sign escape room. IRL game show with random strangers. I've actually thought of number four. I thought of me. I don't know for whatever reason I thought of it with Hassan. But me and Hassan both having a food truck. And we see who... And only we are operating the food truck. And we see who makes more money by the end of the night. We have competing rival food trucks. I would not poison people. I would serve things that are unpoisonable. I wouldn't, like, cook. I would, like, make a sandwich or something like that. Uh, all right, chat. I'm, an, I'm done with GPT for today. Uh, chat, I got to wrap up, actually. I got to end stream a bit earlier um, than I would like. Because I have to record a mogul mail tonight to upload tomorrow. Uh, and if I don't record it tonight, I won't be able to upload it. And I need to upload it tomorrow because I want in the mogul mail to shout out uh, moist moguls going up against the FaZe um, clan in in Valorant. So I got a bit of a I got a bit of a time crunch, basically. So I gotta go do that. But thank you. Thank you all for watching today. Uh, shout out Jetlag the Goat. Tomorrow will be... Tomorrow I might... Uh, tomorrow we're going to do the Valorant, and then maybe I'll end and stream a second time. I don't exactly know what tomorrow is. But we're going to do something tomorrow. Friday, probably no stream. Saturday, very long stream. That's the plan. That's the plan. All right. Anyway, boys, thank you all for watching. Appreciate it. I'm out. I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. Do it live. I have to research and stuff. This will take me a second. Moist Moguls at 1 p.m. Collab with Doug Doug next Wednesday. Wednesday at 2, I think. All right, see you later, everybody. Have a good night. Appreciate you. Let us see you work. No, I don't want to reveal that I use ChatGPT, actually, to do all my research for me. That's a joke. I don't, I, I don't do that. I've actually never thought to do that. Actually, it might not be a bad idea. Actually, you know what? On hindsight. <laughs> Hold up. That's actually genius. <laughs> ChatGPT, can you recap all the phase drama? Actually, no, it's impossible because they're not trained on any recent drama. <sighs> Bummer. Fuck. I forgot it's outdated info. Son of a... I couldn't... Even if I wanted to pretend I used them, I couldn't. All right. We'll see you later, boys. Uh, no YouTube video uploaded today, but I did upload a short. If you guys want to go watch that. And that's it. See you later. Goodbye. If you haven't watched the Maya stream from yesterday, I tried leveling like a zoo animal for a day. Go watch it because it's very good and very fun and very pog. Peace. Peace out. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom.